Hello and welcome to episode one of Adventures in Arony. It's the only adventure that takes place in Arony. Uh, today we've got a wonderful cast and crew. Uh, I'm going to just start with 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 the with the with the screen with the with the bottom right, and we're gonna go up towards the top left. Uh, our bottom right, I see, is our uh, friend CJ. CJ, if you could please introduce yourself, uh, describe your character, and then uh, name your least favorite type of skittle. Very well. Well, player-wise, my name is CJ. Character, my name is Ramos Liadon. I am a half elf warlock. Uh, I am six foot two, a nice bulky 215 pounds. My eyes are sapphire blue. My skin is almond tan, and my hair is uh, long and black and usually in a messy bun. My clothing is usually um, rather, uh, well, genie inspired. Uh, lots of royal blues, purples, oranges. It's very colorful and just to match his personality. And my least favorite Skittle, the lemon one. A controversial stance. Nice to see. It's good stuff. Uh, next, we're going to go to our middle. Screen middle. Uh, It'd be me. Yes, indeed. Dave, if you could please name yourself, uh, your character, and describe your character. And also, yeah. please describe um, your favorite monster truck. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm Dave. I'm playing Calpat, the uh, level two human rogue. Uh, he doesn't have any hair, as you can see by his little picture. Keeps his hood up most of the time. He's about, I'd say, 5'10", 5'11", pretty lanky. Um, and my favorite monster truck, I'm going to have to say, is probably the only one I know, which is Bigfoot. That's a good one. It's a solid. Slaps as monster trucks go. Uh, screen bottom left. We are looking towards Nick. Uh, Nick, if you could please uh, give your 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 real life name, your character name, describe your character, uh, and also. Um, uh, describe your favorite type of tiling for the roof of, of a building. All right. I'm Nick. I'm more of a grave digger man myself. Uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, I'm playing Frank. He's also a warlock, but he's a halfling. Um, and he's not very genie inspired, although he's been inspired by a genie, ironically enough. Um, and I... Uh, yeah, he's he's a guy. And me, um, tiles, roof tiles. Who puts the tiles on the roof? I mean, I guess there's like those clay terracotta ones, right? Other than that, I can't think of... What, would you consider like regular roofing to be tiles? Because yeah. technically it's like overlapped. I don't know. I don't like that question. A bunch of them use like asphalt tiles. It's really cool. For the viewers out there, sure, we'll take those. The rest of the podcast will will be this dry. It'll be great. Uh, awesome. Uh, for our friend over the top right, uh, we have got uh, we've got Bailey. Uh, could you please introduce yourself, your character, describe your character, and also share with us, um. Your favorite type of screwdriver? Oh gosh, what a difficult, what a difficult question. Um, so my name is Bailey or B, and my character's name is Ezra Winter. I am a male fallen Asimar. I'm a cleric. I have silver hair and silver eyes with gold tattoos on my dark gray skin, and I look pretty cool. Um, as far as screwdrivers go, I mean, it's gotta be it. You what a Phillips head can with a flathead if it's the right size. Double use, man. It's a strong stance. That's hard hitting. Uh, towards our top left. 
Uh, we've got a, a wild Sean. Uh, Sean, if you could please uh, state uh, your name, uh, your character's name, describe your character, and then uh, describe your favorite uh, your favorite pizza. I'm Sean. Uh, my character's name is Ark. I, I cannot stress this enough. I am the most drow-looking drow to have drow. I am in leather armor, long white hair, dark skin tone, pointy ears. Got a rapier, got lots of daggers. The drowiest drow to drow. Question. Yes. Are we talking like uh, like Vin Diesel's pitch black? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, if I had goggles, they'd be perfect. Um, my favorite pizza is a uh, chicken Alfredo with broccoli pizza. I had it tonight. It was delicious. Sounds so good. Last uh, and possibly least, but probably least, uh, is myself. My name is Brad. Uh, you might know me from that meme page that I run and don't show my face on. Uh, it's called Borks Memes. I talk a lot of smack, post a lot of things, and some of them are funny. Uh, today, our game will start off uh, with two of our party members inside of glass tubes. Uh, each of you were going about your normal daily lives. Uh, stuff was just wonderful in the separate world that you were existing in uh, until you arrived in these weird containment chambers. You've got a bunch of strange goop around you. The uh, tubes are a little cloudy. You see a small figure. Uh, it's hard to make out walking up to the tubes. It presses on a giant button. You hear a and the goop around you uh, falls to the ground and uh, the tubes raise up. Uh, you'll see the small halfling standing before you is holding a, a single cigar that's lit. Seems to be about the same size as his forearm. He's got a gray flat brim cap. Uh, he's got some uh, wonderful uh, vest on. Uh, he's got a a little pocket watch hanging out. Uh, it seems to be of shabby make, uh, but he seems pretty proud of it, displaying it openly. Uh, he looks to each of you and says, Oh, hey! Uh, new indentured serv- uh -huh, uh, New employees! For us to get jobs from! And pay! And have within the same 25 mile rate um, and have come back here to do more work! So you're, you've both been summoned interdimensionally to help save this realm. Uh, he's saying this over, I didn't clarify who that was. Uh, he's saying this to the two new adventurers that have been summoned to this realm. Uh, we are looking at Ark and our other friend, who I'm forgetting the name of, Nick. Uh, you've got uh, Frank. So Ark and Frank, both of you have been summoned to this dimension. You've never been here before. Uh, the halfling before you looks a little timid, but also a little take chargey. He's got a little uh, circle uh, pin on his chest. It says Mayor. Uh, seems to be in charge of the place from what he's describing. Um, please, please, um, introduce yourselves. I'm so uncomfortable with meeting new people. This is a lot for me. You seem to run the place. Nice to meet you. Uh, looking for somebody maybe a few feet taller than you up up the rungs, you know? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, he means he wants somebody that's like really in charge of the, the realm, like um, like super yeah, ruggy. Yeah, maybe if we stacked you, put you in a trench coat, then you could be running this joint. Well, he's got a mayor pin. Uh, you the mayor? I'm, I am the mayor, but I, you know, I'm, I'm like not even the most super guy. Or, super Ruggy's probably our most super guy around. He's like, I'd like to meet this Super Ruggy. Sounds like a fine, upstanding gentleman, maybe a few feet taller than you. He's giving you like a very intense, pointed look, like like he's really trying to get you to ask about Super Ruggy. Uh, like he, he's like like looking away and then looking back to you. He's like kind of tapping his feet. Uh, behind him, you what can see. Is this Super Ruggy? Oh my god, now that you asked, totally unprompted. Um, he, he's the savior of our land, super cool guy, has like a pink cape, a pink hood, just a really great all around upstanding role model, just just A plus. I've, I've walked out of the room now. 
Yeah. Uh, he'll make your way into a tavern. Uh, the door uh, towards the back of the room opens into a uh, bustling tavern. You'll see that there are a couple of folks getting drinks. Uh, it seems to be about 11 a.m. or uh, noon, based upon how the sun is shining. Um, you would guess that day drink is just kind of common in here. Um, you see a off-blue half-elf. He is serving drinks. Uh, there are some dwarves over at the head of the bar. Uh, debating the implications of uh, using a crossbow that shoots bow or sorry shoots bolts as opposed to a crossbow that just shoots hammers apparently one of them is very insistent that the hammer is a very good idea uh, the other folks are trying to hustle or shush him down he's uh, drinking a little bit more than you think even a dwarf can handle reasonably uh, the tavern keep uh, behind this counter uh, by the name of uh, Lucky, you'll hear a couple of the patrons refer to him as, uh, he is actively trying to get this dwarf Pops kicked out of the building. No, no, I said, no, 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 you've, you've had enough. I've said you've had enough. This, this is definitely it. We're not doing any more of this. Next time you come to this tavern, you better have a good payment or you better have a new thing for me to, uh, to use. I, I can't just keep giving you uh, drinks on credit. Oh. I'm just going to circle by, uh, trying to wholeheartedly avoid, try to get outside and take more take more in. Oh, I didn't think you left the room, Sean. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm not going to talk about it, 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 it. fake superhero. <laughs> Standing outside, there are a couple of folks hustling and bustling around the job board. Uh, this is where you'll see our friends uh, Kelpat, Ramos, and Ezra are uh, going about their daily township. Uh, I'm not sure if any of y'all might be shopping around town or engaging with the general public. Uh, please feel free to describe your own actions or engagements with the two newcomers outside of the tavern as you see fit. I'm just standing there at the job board and looking at it, and when Art comes walking out, I'm like, oh, hey, you look like you're new around here. Apparently, there's supposed to be a guy named Ruggy around. Ah, uh, super, super ruggy. Wouldn't shut up in there. Where can where can you find him? Where can you find this guy? I'm not really sure. We can go looking for him. I'm game All for right. about anything. The guy said his name was Ruggy. I'm fairly confident he just puts on like a sheet or something, right? No. Yeah, come on, man. No. Come on. <laughs> No well, way. I think I left. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. That sounds too stupid. No way. There's got to be a guy around here. Named Why Lucky. don't you just ask Lucky? He definitely would know. He seemed a bit busy with another uh, dwarfy in there. Well, let's get the dwarf out of the bar for him, right? <laughs> then, then we can talk to him. He won't be that busy. That sounds like a you problem. You know, one-on-one, <laughs> mano y mano. I'm not. So Ramos will walk over to the dwarf. Uh... He'll wrap, wrap his arm around him, give him a nice toothy smile. Oh, and what do you want then? What the, what the hell are we doing here? Oh. Listen, I'll make a proposition for you. How about I buy you one more drink, and then uh, you, you and I get some fresh air. And I'll make a persuasion check. You can definitely go for the persuasion. Uh, you think he might be too drunk to resist anything you're suggesting at this point. Uh, if you want to roll, go for it. Uh, 19 persuasion. All right, then. What, what am I drinking? <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> remove a look up to Lucky. And go up uh, to Wotkas, please. And he'll mouth water as a deception. Uh, 16. Oh, but of course. Oh, yes. I, I will, of course, get you both. Uh, w w vodka. Yes, that is exactly what I'll procure for you. Uh, and and no nothing different. The dwarf does not seem to be faced by this. Beautiful. Outside, uh, there is a strange-looking cart. Seems to be made of metal falling from the sky. Uh, you'll see on this 
cart with too many wheels and a strange thing sticking out the top. It's making like a chugga 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 chugga, and then you hear a whoop whoop in the distance. This is actively falling from the sky. Uh, we would know this as a train. Um, for Ramos, who is inside the tavern, is anyone else inside this tavern right now? Uh, yes, Turn I would be door. at the bar. I would be at the bar drinking tea again. Awesome, awesome. Uh, the both of you will hear there's a chugga chugga coming from outside. Uh, for our friends outside, you can see that there's just a train engine falling from the sky. Uh, at which point you see uh, there is a small little halfling with a pink cape, pink boots, and pink gloves that swoops up to catch it. Have no fear! Super Ruggy is here! Uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, Ark, this looks to be the exact same person. Uh, for Frank... This is this is shot for shot the exact same guy. Uh, he swoops up, grabs this train. It's f immediately halted as he's flying through the air. Uh, you'll see a random gentleman on the ground just picks up a rock, hucks it. It passes clean through the train. Uh, yeah, this seems yeah. to be a pretty cheap illusion. Well, it seems like a major illusion. At least he might be a little bit super. Well, that explains why he's in charge, though. You, you show off that much kind of power. Yeah. Yeah. I also bet they wanted to them to stop asking about Super Ruggy. Yeah, that's probably it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. For Kelpat, you find a couple of jobs on the job board that seem intriguing. Uh, there is a person by the name of Lady Marvell who wants her brother back. Apparently, she sent multiple adventurers on missions to try and recover her brother. He was lost to the north. Uh, you also heard rumors of a strange being called a face stealer nearby. Um, looking through the job board, you can see a couple of other uh, random uh, tasks being put up, one of which looks rather promising and uh, to be paying highly. Uh, this is a cartographer's mission to go and map new areas outside of... Uh, the dome here um, it looks to be paying uh, fifty dollar goodness uh, fifty gold per person. You guys, bucks. you guys looking for work? There's a couple oh, jobs over here. This face stealer one we might want to avoid. I've dealt with them before, and they're not the not the nicest creatures out there. Why? Why do you call them a face stealer? Because that's what they do. It's a bit gruesome. Okay. For Ezra and Ramos, uh, you'll note that the dwarf has chugged the last remaining drink that has been procured for him. Uh, he is now talking about how the dwarves used to be a much tougher people. Uh, they used to be more nose to the grind. They used to be a, a harder working group of folks. That is, until the dwarves messed it all up. He's now going off on a rant about how the dwarves ruined the dwarves. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that, that is a nuanced take. I have not heard that before. He's winking towards you, Ramos. And, um, sorry, what was that you were saying about your most recent invention? Oh, I said it's called a gun. It's a thing where you, uh... Or you put the, the powder inside and then uh, light it on fire... And it goes boom, and then, then uh, the thing gets launched. It's like a, oh, it's like an overcomplicated slingshot. Yes, how wonderful. Um, sorry, uh, Ezra, are you doing well? Do you need more tea? Oh no, I'm good. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna help this guy go get some of the fresh air, like we had, like we had decided. Ramos, do you want to grab his other side and get him out of here? Well, I'd be happy to. All right. And uh, both of you, I, I do appreciate this. This is wonderfully kind of you. He does pass five silver to each of you. Um, please make sure that he sees himself to his uh, bedroom. Um, also, don't let him go shopping. It does not head well. Just trust me on this one. As you wish. Will do. What would the two of you like to do? Uh, I guess we're going to walk him outside and meet up with the other guys. Okay. You successfully make your way outside, meet up with the other folks. Uh, for the three standing outside, you see a dwarf that smells strongly of every type of alcohol at the same time. 
Uh, it seems to have a generally salty disposition. Uh, you also see two wonderful new friends. Uh, how would you all like to engage? So anyway, I started Eldrick Blasted. Oh, hey. <coughs> I love that spell. <laughs> wonderful story. Good what? job. I heard you guys were planning on going on a mission somewhere off the job board. Yeah, we taking this guy. Gold, I thought. Big gold. bank. Was that cartographers, right? The mapping. Yes. Cartographers are just a bunch of weak blueprint artists. They're not good at it. I'm gonna <clears throat> kick him in the butt to push him away from us and get him out oh. of here. Go shopping. No, <laughs> don't. No, do not go shopping. I'm a bit confused. Sit on the bit. Sit on the bench. <laughs> All right. He said, "Give yourself bench. ten minutes, and then go up to your room and take a nap." Yeah. He sits down. I pat him on the head. So, shall we? Do we even know where we need to go? No idea. Isn't that the adventure? Yeah, I guess so. Kelpat, can I oh. make a history check? Sure. 19. On a 19, you've been around here a bit. You know where the uh, Cartographer's Guild is. Uh, it's just a little bit towards the center of town. Um, you'll note that it is pretty close by the town hall, also run by that uh, high council uh, that uses uh, your wonderful friend Ruggy Dug Duggy the mayor as a uh, walking figurehead uh, you're able to make your way over towards the uh, cartographer's guild with ease uh, they do have a few folks inside that are hustling and bustling their way in uh, one of them an elven woman by the name of Bryn uh, says that she is haunted by the memories of the face stealers towards the north uh, in passing she also mentions a wonderful place called Fight Bar that she had just been to Said fight bar. Oh yes, I believe we've been there. It's a rather nice place. Oh goodness. Uh. Yes. What? You just fight in the bar. Uh, you kind of. got it. Dope. Is it a fair fight? I guess that depends mm. on who you ask. It depends on whose side you're on. And so it's like I, a. Mm. It's like a war, like a multiple people thing. Or... Oh, it's more like a one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Yeah, it seemed very one-on-one, -on -one, but who knows what other types of fights they have. We only saw the one. Cool, 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 cool. Could it be uh, very profitable if uh, you make the right choices? Yeah, if you know how to bet, it could be, could be really great. Huh. <clears throat> Oh, my apologies. My name is Ramos. Uh, you two oh. definitely look new. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm Frank. I'm Art. Hmm. Was that a my... T or a D or a... It was a K, but... Oh, you know. okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Frank, Mark, pleasant to meet you. Nice to meet you. I it's keep copying your thing. I am Calpat. Hello. Oh, okay. The attendant at the uh, Cartographer's Guild looks a little confused seeing five people introducing themselves right outside the front door. Walk up together and then introduce themselves to each other. <laughs> uh, this woman, she is a older elven lady, very curly hair, uh, she seems to be taking great care of herself, uh, has very large hoop earrings, uh, has a wonderfully done up outfit, has a couple of pictures of uh, what you would assume to be relatives. Uh, they seem to be hand drawn uh, and a couple of drawings that suggest they were done by children nearby. Uh, she has a warm cup of coffee. Uh, scrolls line the walls behind her. Uh, you would uh, venture to guess that these are some sort of mapping or at the very least uh, makeshift cartography. Uh, she asks, Hi there, how are you, sweeties? Good. 
for doing well. We are you. doing great. Uh, we, we were sent here because we heard that you were looking to uh, to uh, cartography a new section of something. What, what, why am I here? That's right. You, you, must, you must be one of those uh, adventurers without the survivor skills and the whatnots. Uh, do any of you know how to use cartographer's tools? I can read any language. That sounds like a language to me. Maps, I right? can forge things. That like we gotta figure it out. <laughs> All right, I'm this... really good at not dying. That's what I'm good at. Can make a real good fake map. Look, I'm I'm gonna need a couple of things from all yous. I I need you to like jot down the places that you go in a, a way that's slightly better than just putting it down in crayon. Can you do that for me? The crayon. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, we got a bunch of areas that need scouting, uh, most of which being anything beyond 10 miles from the dome. Doesn't seem to be super survivable, so if you guys can make it out there and make it back with literally any info, we'll pay you uh, uh, cash or something. Cash is always good. I did say I was good at not dying, so not survivable seems like something I could be okay at. At this point, there is a uh, older wizard gentleman walking in. He's got the quintessential blue robe with uh, stars, moons, and suns on it. Uh, same with his pointy uh, hat as well. He's got a long, flowing gray beard, uh, grizzled look about him. He looks to you few and says, Oh, shit, I found him. All right. Uh, howdy. Um, you got you two. He points over to Frank and Ark. Uh, What's up, nerd? Hey, I uh, forgot to tell you. Uh, hi, I'm Shittith. I summoned you. Um, I was busy Bad day thing. drinking uh, at home. Uh, yeah. Hey, you you guys got time for a thing? What? Apparently all the time in the world. Yeah, I just got pulled out of bed uh, or walking. I don't remember. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, Agatha. Yes, dearie. Uh, yeah. Can we can we get the uh, space in the back room, please? Just you know, nothing nothing crazy. We're just looking to get a little uh, acquainted with one another. I'm I'm sorry. What now? Uh, you'll see. He procures yeah. a small wooden coin. Puts it onto the counter. Here's your key, honey. She passes it back over to him. Uh, you, you guys want to follow me real quick? This isn't like a sex thing, is it? Yeah, it's a sex thing. He rolls All right. Eyes. Cool. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> uh, he'll make his way back. Uh, you'll see that there is a water cooler uh, labeled whiskey. Seems to have alcohol in it. He stops by, gets a cup, continues on. I will join him in grabbing a cup of whiskey. Yeah, I'll get a cup too. I'm yeah, I'm are we all going, or was it just the two new guys that were invited? I, I happily beckon all of you to join. Yeah, you're all invited. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, he makes his way towards. If there's a, a sex thing, I want there to be more people. <laughs> he makes his way to a back room. Uh, this opens way to a concrete room. There's a single light in the top. Seems to be floating. I uh, guess this to be some sort of light orb. Uh, there's a couple of chairs, a long table. He says, all right, sit on whoa, down. Whoa, I've been arrested before. I don't want to go in there. Uh-uh. No, it's not, a, it's not an arrest thing. I'm just, I need to talk to you guys about a certain unrelated, unimportant thing just inside of here. As a rule, I generally don't like to enter rooms without two exits, but, you know, he seemed like a nice guy. Thanks. You know, I <laughs> pride myself on not doing bad things. Been in worse rooms. At that point, uh, does anybody not choose to enter? Cool, cool. He will close the door behind you all, snap a finger, at which point you see runes uh, flash their way up around all the walls and then extend onto the ceiling. Yeah, fucking warding works. All right. I'm a little hungover. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this quick and dirty for y'all. Uh, it's kind of hard to be hungover if you haven't stopped drinking. I mean, yeah, yeah. That what you said. I can. What's your name? Again. 
Ezra. Ezra, you're not a pain in my ass. I like you. Um, I need work done by you guys. Um, you guys ever heard of a thing called goblins? No. Yes. All the time. Maybe. Small green. About the ring workers. size. Great workers. Yeah, yeah. They can be. Yeah, they're they're um shitty most of the time. Some of them are great. Some of them are terrible. This whole thing. Uh, we sent out uh, a couple of uh, real adventures, like the kind of with like warning and uh, equipment uh, south. And one of them made it back. He said they were attacked by goblins. The description he gave didn't necessarily add up. Uh, I think he's lying. I'm not sure what's going on. I need people who have no stake or skin in the game to go down there, check it out, actually get some information for me, and then come back. Um, judging by the looks of it, you guys have... Uh, do you you guys are doing a cartography mission. Does any of you have any actual cartographer's tools? I was going to ask, can you give us like a magic map that will fill itself in as we walk or something? Two birds stoned, all that. I, I hate that. I hate that so much. Like, I, I have one good magic map, and you... Fuck. Fine, fine. He snaps a finger. A single map uh, is procured on the table. Uh, as it appears, you hear, I'm the map! Uh, referring to some sort of children's <laughs> show. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll, uh, if you, if there's a place you gotta get, fucking, that'll get you there, I, I bet. Uh, it's a map. <laughs> Sweet. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. I'm gonna need to do a lot of cocaine to forget this night. It's gonna be... Sorry, uh, fuck. Alright, do you, do you guys have any questions <laughs> for me? What, what is going on here? Uh, yeah, what direction again? South. Yeah. Yeah, see the Perfect. map? You see, Goblins? the map has a little arrow. See? It's real. It's like flashy wow. and everything. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you gotta Goblins ignore the pop ups. Tiny green guys, right? Little green guys, sharp teeth, smartest beings on the planet. Something like Those that. Those guys? Okay. Yeah. Just making sure we're talking about the right things. I don't know why they attack, but let's go. From the map pops up a little holographic pink bear that away like around the map uh it starts to recount the details of stumpy's adventures insurance uh touting the benefits of insuring yourself so that your items can be replaced in the time of your untimely demise um you're kind of wishing that this guy hadn't cheaped out and actually got a real map that didn't just bombard you with ads but it seems to be doing the trick you know what they say about free map. Don't look at sure. gift map in the pink bear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something about that, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, is there anything else you, uh, Chuckle Fox, need from me? My father's approval, but if you don't have that, I guess I'll get on my way. That, that's uh, very, very oddly specific. Uh, I'm afraid I, I don't have father's approval in uh, large supply here. Well, maybe one day. Yeah, we got orphans coming out the years, though. If you need orphans, fuck, come to me. I got, I got the rights to a lot of orphans, soul. I, I got, a, I got a lot of orphans I can get to do work for you. Funny, Why don't you just you send know, the orphans put... on this mission? What are we doing here? I mean, he points to the group. All right, all right, got it. As Even long as I get paid, I don't really care. Yeah. I truly don't know my parents, so either way. <laughs> See, this guy's an orphan, and I don't even own him. Uh, he looks over to you, Ezra, and gives a wink. Well, yeah, you put five orphans in a, in a building, and you're a weirdo, but you put a hundred, and you're the town hero. But that doesn't make sense to me. Well, you don't want just five collectible cards. You need all of them. <laughs> Hey, it's not nice to view people as belongings at all. 
No, I, I don't like own the cards. I just admire them. Well, this is definitely taking a dark turn. So we're going south, yes? It's something about that, yeah. That, uh, if only there was direction. a door to get out of this room. It's crazy. It's the... He snaps a finger. Yeah, it's that, that door you entered in. Fucking... Uh, you'll see he walks out, makes his way over to the whiskey vending machine, uh, and then exits the building. Does not say weird. goodbye. Does not beckon to you or give you any more info. So who's taking the map? Dib's not it. I put my thumb on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> the rogue has already, like... <laughs> Sweet. Alrighty, um, that we'll see. Uh, if... Is anybody actually going to pick up this map? Oh yeah, I did. Oh okay, so, sorry. I'm yeah. like, I didn't see your image there for a bit. For some reason, your camera wasn't pouring through to my Discord. Uh, I did not plan today well at all. I'm going to need to use the rester real quick. I will be right back. <laughs> uh, if y'all want to do in character conversation inside this wonderful fortressy room of solitude slash convenience, feel free to do so. Guys, do you think if we stay here long enough, the door will close on us again? Of course. Is that what you want to happen? No, not not particularly. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna step works. outside by the water cooler. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah, yeah, try and yeah. try and tip it up. <laughs> I don't think he'd be too happy if he we wasted his whiskey. I feel like it's magical. Yeah, I don't think it's. Yeah, I got a feeling happy. he doesn't run out of that. Yeah. Interesting. <gasps> Hello. I feel like it's more of the principle of the thing, no? I don't like his get up. Like, oh, you're a wizard. We all get it. I don't know. It's very, very coordinated. You got to appreciate a guy that matches his uh, pointy hat to his socks. Fair. But you know, I look over here at uh, most, and you know, he looks great, and he's not all. Oh, I'm a, a genie follower. Well, I mean, he is, but it's not like super obvious, you know. Ramos looks like what happens when you uh, empty everything you thought you had out of a bag of holding. And then you just shake out the rest. That's that's what Ramos looks like. Yeah, that's. I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or an insult. Well, it's all the it's all the shiny stuff that you can't grab with your bare hands. So I mean, it's got to be a good thing, right? And Ramos will like put a hand on his ornate lantern and like hold it closer to him. (laughs) Yeah. Same. Except it's not only answered. <laughs> At that, a small halfling will walk his way inside of the Cartographer's Guild. Uh, you'll recognize this to be the exact same mayor who had been inside of the back room of the tavern. Hey! It's you guys! Uh, hey, do you, do you guys need, like, an extra person for this adventure to go with you on this adventure? Because I'm bored and lonely? I don't see why not. You might as well stretch your legs. No? That sounds oh. great! By the way, this entire time, Rumos has a smile on his face. It does not let up. It's kind of sickening. You okay there, buddy? If you stay like that for too long, you're going to get stuck like that. Oh, I hope so. Okay. The feign, the smile. Guess we're bringing Super Ruggy, huh? Oh, I'm not super ruggy. No, no. Super ruggy is far more brave and handsome. Well, let's get that guy then. Sorry, uh, earlier. I, oh, wait, he's right here. No, no, no. I, I haven't seen him in a bit. I'll go see if I can find him, though. I, I, Being the mayor, I do have the ability to signal for him. You'll hear a pitter-patter as he runs out. Oh, super ruggy! Like, a single yeah, a second passes. And then Super Ruggy runs in, wearing the same garish outfit that you'd seen him in a little ways prior. Hello, I'm Super Ruggy. 
your your my personal and wonderfully competent friend Ruggy Dug Duggy told me that you were in need of an additional adventurer. Uh, okay. Well, he showed up, so I guess this is. Uh, I stand corrected, and I just push past. Hey, what? I follow Ark out. <laughs> As you make your way outside, uh, you'll see that a uh, the, the same dwarf actually pops is being dragged out of a general store. Uh, he's currently fighting off three guards with one bottle of whiskey. Uh, he shatters it over one of their heads, punches another one in Oof. the face. A guard grabs him by the beard and throws him to the ground. He's now yelling, Oof. cursing, swearing. You, From the distance, you think he might have peed himself at some point. Uh, the person from the general store, uh, referred to as Blever's Odds, uh, is now making their way outside and throwing various and sundry food items at him. Uh, it's just a sight to behold. The rest of the town does not seem in any way surprised by this. I said I wanted it half off, Danny. If you're going to charge double the right, I'm going to give you double the hassle. You know, that really looks like a problem for Super Ruggy. Oh my goodness, that really does. Somebody should go in and help. Oh shit, that's me. Oh, He'll run off and then go intervene. Uh, unsuccessfully, I Did might have. Did he say I'll give you double the asshole? I think hassle. I just said hassle. Well, but that's basically we're moving, the same thing. We're moving. Well, he's dealing with it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Yo. we might ditch Ruggy here. Ooh. Yeah, let's run. Run for it. Already. <laughs> uh, As we're running, Ramos goes, this is why we didn't want him to go shopping. <laughs> no, this is why we did want him to go shopping. Let's run before the guy in the pink comes back. <sighs> you make your way outside. Uh, this is uh, for Frank and Ark. You realize you would heard it in passing. This is a dome. This is like a dome that covers this area, this town. Um, you're not, sh you had not had it described to you. It was not really explained. Uh, it's just kind of there. Everyone else leaves it, not really paying it any mind. Uh, you see a bird attempts to fly through the dome and whoop, as it flies square into it and then plummets to the ground. Ooh. Oh, just for reference, uh, if we're in a city, we travel double speed because I'm an urchin. Bada bing, bada boom. You successfully make your way out quite quickly. Did we ditch uh, Super Ruggy? Looks like we did. Most definitely. Hey, Matt boy, point us, point us southish. That way. You successfully point in one of the four cardinal directions. Uh, can I see a survival check from you? He didn't fake flying, though, right? No, no. I think Ruggy definitely knows how to fly. Classic Stopping a train, right though? Right there. What'd you get, Sean? Oh, classic number four. Ah, you have a really good idea. And the uh, beast lands described to the south, uh, just below the Forest of Screams, that seems to be the best path. Uh, you really think you want to cut right through the dangerous forest of screams, right through the beast lands, really to get uh, as far south as possible. Sean's frozen for me. Yep, frozen for me too. <laughs> yep. Oh, I thought he was just really shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a bit, then I was like, oh, no way he's doing it that long. Uh, for viewers at home, sorry, this is a little clunky. Uh, it's still better than most news stations right now, so you know, could be worse. Um, it is. I will. Shape. I'll say. I just trust Ark. He has the map. You know. It's a good point. None of the rest of us have maps. That's true. No, he's he's doing great. He's uh, he's doing wonderful. We're gonna wait just another moment. For the folks at home, I would love to lie and say that I'll crop this part out. I probably don't have that editing ability, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about our days. Uh, I don't have that editing ability. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know, the, you know, like the editing software where you can like cut out certain parts. You can be like, "Hey, crop, yeah. crop. Just just take those parts out." It's beyond me. I can't do it. I, oh, that yeah. might be the simplest editing editing. Met, like 
thing to learn, but uh, that, okay. We yeah, Mr. Yellow Squares here. He used to edit out all the cuss words. <laughs> I... Yeah, that was a thing. That was that was totally a thing. Uh, I am looking through here, and I do not see Sean, so we're just going to keep on rolling. We're going to assume that Ark has found uh, a wonderful way cutting possibly through the most dangerous areas listed on the map to get further south. Uh, any of you would hear him suggest the Forest of Screams and then the Beast Lands. Um, so however you guys want to approach that is up to you. Let me take a look at that real quick. Uh, survival check, please. Uh, natural 20, so a 26. 26 says that that is a bad idea and a half. Um, there is a area outlined as Pleasant Stream. Uh, it is <laughs> due east. Uh, seems to be between Aroni and another town labeled as Broken Claw. You had been there in the past for your adventure at Fight Bar. Um, you think it might be better to uh, make your way east a little bit and then strafe this pleasant stream, uh, cutting around the Forest of Screams, which does not seem to be a great spot to be. Ah. Let us go uh, along this stream. I think it'll be better this way. All right. A little more rela uh, relaxing. And at the same time, we're supposed to cartographize, right? I'm sure this pleasant stream has been explored before. Technically, wouldn't everything that has a label and a distance be explored before? On this That's map? a magic map, though, right? It is a magical map. Yeah. So perhaps they don't have it, but we do. Okay, we'll go to the pleasant stream. It'll be alright. You hear a... Bam. A single dark red tiefling has appeared in front of you. He has a lavish suit on. Uh, How's it going, Colonel Sanders? Point to his teeth point to his horns. Hi there. How is everyone? Oh, it's my, my favorite my favorite dude from outside the, the Danger Dome. Hey. Hi. It's been a while. Uh, I don't think I've been acquainted with your friend here. He points over to yourself, Frank. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, acquaintize me, whatever. What's up? What's your name? Well, my name, my name's Serp. I uh, specialize in dealings of some sorts. Uh, tell me. Yeah, you should never give your name with nothing in return. You failed your first deal, Serp. You, uh, you like Eldrick Blast? Um, what do you think? I shoot an Eldrick Blast into the sky. Uh, <laughs> Out of a right. bottle. That's in my hand. I see I'm talking to a sold man. Well, I happen to be uh, doing a little uh, exploration on behalf of the fiendish folks around these parts. Ooh, gross. Oh, no offense, but whatever. What's your name again? I didn't tell you. I'm aware. I'll tell you. It's Frank. Thank you, Frank. Hey, Frank. Yeah. I need a favor from you. We'll see. You got a bunch of friends here. They look like nice folks. Now, uh, he'll make his way over to you, Ezra. He'll stand a little too close to you. He'll, like, put his arm around your shoulder. Uh, if you try to shug him off, you, you definitely I, I'm probably more blushing. Ezra's probably really into this. <laughs> Frank, you're, uh, your friends here seem like nice folks. Now, I would like to propose an offer to you. You pay me just a little bit of gold and, uh, I see to it that you make it safely through these parts. Yeah, sure. Here's 10 gold. All right. That sounds good to me. 
Uh, he will happily pocket the 10 gold. He will snap a finger, at which point uh, two imps uh, appear right behind him. Uh, each one is floating a little bit, flapping its wings. Uh, for anybody familiar with how any bird flies, it's based on thrust and momentum. Uh, these are just kind of flapping their wings and floating in place. They're not flapping them fast enough for like a hummingbird to float. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't like really add up with how physics works. You think they're just kind of dumb imps that just kind of float there and flap wings. Uh, one of them says, What are we doing, boss? What's going on? Hi there. I need both of you to keep an eye on this group. Uh, if uh, any of them wind up in any sort of trouble, see, you're going to give whatever gives them a little bit of trouble just a big old hug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Suicide bomb? Nah, well, I, that, that's a very unkind term. I don't like that at all. Uh, look at it like a forever snuggle. Like a kill yourself explosion. Uh, something like that. And uh, this one right here, Ezra. What? What about this one? I don't like this one. If this one takes anything out of its pockets, you tell me what that thing is. Report it back to me. Thank you. I mean, I'd gladly tell you what's in my pockets, but you can find out the hard way if you'd like. Oh. Uh, you want us to turn around? Well, we'll turn around. I'm, I make sure Kel that. <laughs> and, uh, what, Would you like name, me sorry. to go into my lantern? Because <laughs> I can give myself some private time. Yeah, I'll go in my bottle. We can double it up. Serp will pretend not to notice this advancement uh, and look over towards Kelpat. Hey there. It's been a while. It has. Been keeping up on the keeping ups? Doing my best. You uh, still got a soul to sell? I guess you could say that. Your friend Amos um, has been running amok towards the north. Has he? 30, 40 of them. Descending on adventures in mass. 40 Amoses? Something like that. How's he managing that? Remember those fake stealers? Yep. Oh. They remember him. For some reason, they like doing crimes under his name. Seems to just be kind of expected of him, salty old bastard. <laughs> well. The old guy with one arm is the uh, employee of the month picture I saw somewhere, I think. Yeah, real uh, pain in the ass. Tough to deal with. Just general tough customer. Real great guy. Real real pleasure to have in class, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I see you're all uh, otherwise preoccupied. I like your map there. Uh, he will pat you, Ezra, on the back. Uh, he is going to take a very stern look towards Ramos. Uh, and uh, you, friend... Yes. Tell your lamp friend I'm aware of what's going on here. Not a fan of it. This is our turf. We made a deal. Very well. Thank you. Anything you want me to tell uh, Freddy? Uh, you have the same boss? Whoa. <laughs> Above the table, I'm not sure exactly who Freddie is. Are are you guys both working for Freddie Mercury? Is it is this? <laughs> I don't know. If I this said is a Fred, if, if Freddie, like a you know a, a fire genie, but I like the idea that it's Freddie Mercury. Right. I need to brush up on a Freddie Mercury impression. Uh, we're just gonna whip that out <laughs> at some point. Uh, it's gonna be great. British with big teeth. You can pull it off. I'll try my best. Uh, at that. Uh, your wonderful friend uh, will just disappear out of nowhere. Uh, you'll also see the two imps are arguing over who has the best uh, snot coming out of their nose. No, oh, now it's me. Oh, see how oh, it's bright green. It's it, it's good for the ladies. They enjoy it. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I, ah, you you always brag about that ever since we were kids. It's never been nice to you. 
They're bickering back and forth. Uh, you think they've known each other for a long time. Can I check Ramos Ezra's will, back? Uh, whistle. <laughs> Come on. One of them will fly over uh, and land on your shoulder, Ramos. For the followers. Uh, we gotta follow him. We gotta follow him. Uh, for Frank, uh, you're checking Ezra's back. You yeah. find just a single bead. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it off and hand it to him. Here, he put this on your back. I had a feeling there was something weird going on. Ezra, you see a, a tiny purple bead. It's got just the slightest glint and a very, very tiny etching. Uh, this seems to have just a... Like, if if some very fine craftsperson were to etch a symbol into, like, a, uh, a charm bracelet, that charm would have this similar size. Uh, there is a very faint squirrel etched into this bead. Interesting. You know, I'm half tempted to throw this into the, the stream, but... Since you wanted to know what was in my pocket so bad, I guess I'll just put it there. <laughs> That's smart. With that, uh, our friend with the map is not with us at the moment. Uh, we are coming up on our first hour mark. Let's do a 15 minute break here. Uh, we'll pick back up with the movement towards the south and potential engagement therein um at that i will stop streaming here fuck all right this is the start of the recording i said fuck it to start uh I so said fuck it to start. hello and welcome back to episode one of uh adventures in Arony. uh we are just goofing off and hanging about our uh, good friend Ark has run into difficulties with internet connection. He's a liar and a cheat. Uh, if you are watching this from home and you have access to the internet, please don't harass him. He's just a, a good boy trying his best. Um, that will leave us with our four adventurers here on their way south to explore a forgotten area. Uh, or possibly unexplored or possibly just gone. It may not even exist. Who knows? Uh, there is a door of the exp uh, there is a map um, procured for this party. Ark will leave it with the group as he promptly fucks off to the wilderness to the north. Uh, you all receive this wonderful map of cartography. Uh, it is a magic item that uh, minecrafts a local area of scenery for you on a piece of paper and recounts the area that you've been to. Uh, we are heading south. The closest area being the uh, pleasant stream that Ramos had outlined for us was the most safe area of travel. Uh, you've just talked with a gentleman by the name of Serp, who was a little bit uncomfortable, a uh, light bit of a weird southern big something energy uh, bamped off, and that leaves our group with two imps that are just kind of talking smack back and forth with one another. What would you like to do? Do I like own these guys now? I paid, like, money or whatever? I mean, technically, if you're dealing with the devil, yes. <sighs> yeah, you do own us. <laughs> Can you guys promptly watch us from, you know, uh, hearing distance away? I don't like the snorting. Prefer it if you were, like, 20 feet above my head. Yeah, yeah, do that. Do what he says. Yeah. One of them flies up. The other one looks up. Why are we going up there? The polite one asked! All right. They fly up. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you. A little bit of poop falls. Doesn't land on anybody. Oh, okay. All right. Lead the way, map guy. That's Ramos, right? Should be. Ramos. Unless he gave it to somebody else while I wasn't looking. That is right. Uh, sorry. I tend to forget <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so I will <clears throat> lead us along the stream right. towards our destination. You make your way over towards a uh, bridge uh, running over the stream. This seems to be connecting the two towns of Aroni and Broken Claw. You remember traveling back and forth between this area. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there is one halfling standing on it, smoking. Uh, seems to be one of Mary's employees, based on the gray flat brim cap and the general salty disposition. I give the... him a uh, stern, uh, a friendly nod. Uh, he takes a piece of paper, seems to be in a paper airplane, throws it over to you. The paper airplane banks right and then points directly at you and flies towards you. Let me get a smoke. I catch it. Can I have a smoke? Sorry, what? Let me get a cigarette, bro. I'm not getting you a cigarette. How about you get your own cigarette? Look, I'll give you a silver for it or whatever. How about this? I give you a middle finger and I give you a dagger to the... F and he'll go off in a way that is vile in a way that would get us kicked off the internet. Uh, he will continue for a little bit uh, trying to pull out every curse word he can't find uh, in his back pocket. He's pulling out like weird, like very offensive based on the lines of like race, age, sexuality, political affiliation... Uh, the area of your birth, the specific quality of the bread that you ate growing up. He's just pulling out all the weird, offensive, bad words that he can think of. He's... You know, that's that's really bold talk for a guy who could be pushed off a bridge in any second. His eyes flash yellow. Yeah, you got something. This... Uh, you got something, something to say to me? One of the imps. <laughs> Is this one getting taken care of? No, he's fine. What's the paper say? Yeah, it depends on what the paper says. Paper says, thank you for the earnings. Uh, and asks you, Ramos, to keep a close eye on the dragon slayers inside of Aroni. All right, that's Ramos. a nice buddy. We will push him over this time. Ramos, up. Uh I think I can do that for you. That's not from me. I know. It wasn't for you. May I please have a cigarette? Do I look like the kind of... Uh, he will start to use some derogatory terms to refer uh, to a woman's genitalia. Uh, do I look like that kind of a wimp to you? Your name is Joey, right? Here yes. My name's not Joey. You look like a Joey. Definitely is it, Joey. Is his name Joey now? Joey. No, it's definitely not, but that's what we're calling him. Cool. <laughs> not, but... Uh, no, 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 no. He'll brick here a couple of cigars. Uh, I don't keep cigarettes on me. These are my cigars. You're not taking them. Can I yank one with my mage hand, please? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a sleight of hand check, please. Right. Kelpat, what are you up to? I was actually going to bump uh, Joey here and try to grab one of his cigars for Frank. Slide a hand, please. All right. Thirteen. Don't roll this at me. Greg, where did thing? There it is. Okay. This is the part for the folks in uh, watching this where you comment and pick on our friend here, um, harassing him for taking too long to roll dice. Uh, it's a 14. Shame. We shame him. We only shame him. I'm just kidding. We're this is a 14. We're, <laughs> we're here to have fun. This is a good time. Uh, <laughs> if you could please, if you're also watching this and looking to make comments, please compliment each and every person that is in this podcast in some way. We very much appreciate that. With a 12 and a 14, uh, this man went from two cigars to no cigars. Wonderful. See you later, Bilbo. Sorry, Bye, Bilbo. Boy. Thought his name was James. What? Yeah, sorry. All right, listen. His name is Joey. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, what? Wait, his, hold on. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, his name is Joey. Okay. And he'll uh, uh, Ramos will toss Joey a gold coin. Was that a slip from CJ or a slip from Ramos? I need to know. <laughs> you don't know. Dang it. Your halfling friend will catch this gold, pocket it, and then look a little confused towards you. Don't worry about it. Travel towards the 
southern direction is successful. You do follow the pleasant stream. Uh, it is rather uneventful, actually. Uh, refreshingly so. The imps above you are talking a little bit of smack. Uh, they do seem to be recounting tales and details of adventures that don't really seem to make sense to you. You think they might have been that from a far off land. Uh, talking about past campaigns we were involved in. <clears throat> uh, one of them poops a little bit. It falls down next to you guys. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, out of the corner of your eyes, Kelpat, you do see a single three-legged squirrel. It's watching you from about 100 feet away. Hey, guys. Check out the squirrel over here. It's just got three legs. Yeah, you know, that's really crazy. I got this purple bead with a squirrel on it. Does it have three legs on the bead? Does it have three legs on the bead? Indeed it does. Yes. It's a clue. Uh, you know, I, I'm okay with it. It's not like I'm... I don't, I don't think I'm like doing anything bad. It's like parents having like a nanny cam, but you're not breaking any rules, so it doesn't really matter. The squirrel oh, scampers up to you, Ezra. Uh, are you going to pet it? No, I'm not going to pet it. You really think he would like that? I don't really think he's one for pets. It looks up to you expectantly. Cock his head a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna get close enough to pet it, but I'm gonna, like, hover right before I touch it in case it doesn't want me to and might bite me. It doesn't bite. Alright, I'll pet the stupid squirrel. It likes the pets. It climbs up your arm and rests on your shoulder. I will keep it there. My new friend. Hello, squirrel. Oh, sweet. I didn't know you were a ranger. Honestly, neither did I, but I'm a fan of this squirrel, and I think we should keep going. Sweet. Alrighty. I, Frank, see nothing wrong with this three-legged squirrel joining us at all. This abnormal, magically procured squirrel that matches a bead that some crazy guy with a southern accent gave me all seems like good news. It only ends for sure. Here. It only looks up. It's great. Everything's coming up in my house. Uh, for Moe's... You were expecting Pleasant Stream to run for a lot longer, like like pouring into an ocean, like bodies of water do. Um, what you're finding is that a little ways up ahead, it just ends. <clears throat> There's a hole it seems to be pouring into, like, like a weird waterfall. Uh, you're not sure exactly what's going on inside of this hole. Um... There seems to be a very set start and end to this stream, though. I'll go down the hole. Man, this land is very strange. So how close we... are we to the hole right now? I think you're about a uh, hundred yards off. Is that supposed to be there? Looks at map. <laughs> nope. The map just says that the stream continues forever. Nope. This is different. Uh, different like we need to go look at it different or different as in like avoid the creepy hole in the ground and go the other way towards where we're supposed to go different. Should I sneak up there and take a look in the hole? You can. You want to make, give me take a them. Let me know if it's a dark hole. I might be able to help out. Yeah, I'm going to very stealthily move up and look into this hole. Let's see Why don't you guys it? fly up real high and, and follow along with it? I yeah, say I the amps. 17 on my stealth roll. 17 will see a success. Uh, you make your way up very, very, very quietly. Uh, one of the imps flies up. A little bit of poop falls nearby you. Just smells bad. It smells like someone that eats a lot of protein. Uh, you make your way over towards the hole. Uh, you're now about 15, 20 feet away from it. You can see inside. Uh, it seems to be pouring onto a giant acorn. This acorn is buried into the ground, set into a strange room that just seems to be dug out of the ground here. Uh, the borders of this hole are glowing and off purple. Uh, this reminds you just slightly of a bag of holdings opening. You think this might be some sort of extra dimensional space that this water is pouring into. 
All right, I'm going to go back to the group. Uh, guys, looks like some kind of giant acorn in the ground up here that that water is running into. And the area around the edge of the hole is glowing. Purple. Glowing. Purple. That's a little strange. Do you think the giant acorn with the purple ring has anything to do with this fun purple squirrel on my shoulder? Because that'd be really convenient. Wait, is the squirrel purple? The squirrel That's what I shoulder? thought. Uh, the, the squirrel itself is not purple. The no, no, the, the bead is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Perhaps All I know should... is that you should not put your lantern or my bottle in that hole if it's some kind of magical space, because <laughs> that would be bad. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if an acorn generally screams bad news to me. I don't know. What could be so bad from a giant tree, right? That's what it would be with enough water, right? Is a tree bad? Do we need to do anything water. about this? If, if your friend wants the acorn... Can I try and talk to the squirrel? Not like speak squirrel language, but just be like, is this your acorn, my dude? The squirrel shakes its head no. Okay, well, it's not to do with that. It'd be awfully convenient if it was, but it's not, so. You tell your squirrel if he wants to write on the ground, I can understand it. I'm sure he can hear you. Hey, squirrel. The squirrel. If you want to write on the ground, I can understand you. The squirrel seems to be, like, passive-aggressively ignoring your friend Frank. I don't think he likes you. That's fine. I mean, I like you just fine. It's, it's definitely not me that has, like, no, a I, problem with... It's, pro it's yeah. probably just the squirrel. I, I, I can't speak for him, though. This is a no, squirrel. I don't have any qualms with you. I, I don't like the squirrel. Okay, okay. So okay, cool, cool. There's that. But, you know, MC squirrels. Let's keep going. Well, that's, that's weird. Anyways, um, anybody else want to do anything about this acorn? Like, what are we going to do here? Well, no, it's on the map. Good oh. idea! You're so smart. <laughs> I've, uh, uh, Arcana check to update the map? Let's see it. Wow, okay. Um, <clears throat> 24. Red Rover, Red Rover, cover this shit over. Bada bing, bada boom, you got an updated map. Wow, oh. looks like we know how to do our job after all. That's crazy. Look at that. We don't even need to be knowledge to cartographers, <laughs> tools. Damn. Yeah. Flying. Is there a divot where the stream used to run? There is. So the stream doesn't continue after that at all? It just stops at the acorn? Yep. It seems to be pouring directly onto the acorn. You're not sure how this acorn is able to absorb all this water? This might be catastrophic for anything that needs to grow downriver, but considering there isn't a downriver anymore, I guess that's not really my problem. Definitely not a job for us. It could be a job for a uh, super... Uh, what was his name again? Oh, Super Ruggy. Yeah, Super Yogurt. Rugrat. That guy, yeah. Super Yogi. You see a small oh, no. halfling flying on the horizon. Lightning, I'm gonna learn not to say lightning strikes. The halfling plummets. Well, where's that? Uh, what? Uh, mother, mother be with him and all that. Whatever. Should we go check on him? No. Okay. I got a feeling this that. isn't the first time he's been struck out of the sky. <laughs> I don't know why you got that feeling, but. I just don't care. <sighs> Anyways, uh, do we do we continue along where the river used to be? That is up to you. Speaking what? to Ramos. I'm sorry. What? Should we continue where the river was? Yes, that would be a good idea. That's my thing. Like, the if it's not a stream, then the chances are it's not peaceful as well, right? You change Not one anymore. modifier, you gotta change the other. Indeed. The squirrel hops off your shoulder, Ezra, and makes its way over towards the acorn. Uh, it hops down into the hole. Out of sight. 
Oh man. Well, convenient. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna walk over to hole and be like, "I thought you said this wasn't your acorn." The Wh why is now messing around with some of the etchings that you're just now able to barely make out around this acorn. Guys, it's a magic acorn. Come look. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> can I can I tell what the etchings would be with an arcana check or something? Uh, what languages do you speak? Celestial, infernal, undercommon. With infernal, uh, you take a look at this and realize this is messed up stuff. Uh, this is writing out specifics of a massive treant. This is a glyph made to funnel water into a magical acorn. Someone's trying to make a monster. Uh, according to my Easy Bake Oven instructions here, this is a build-your-own-monster acorn. It's, it's not good. This is bad. This bad acorn. Well, I guess I'm gonna attack that squirrel now. No, the squirrel. The squirrel was showing me that the squirrel. The squirrel was showing me it was a bad acorn. The squirrel's You fine. said he was etching the, the runes, right? No, he was. He was fucking them up. He was trying to show me. No, I, I don't think, think the he was squirrel putting did the, it. I think the squirrel did. <laughs> it was absorbing water before the squirrel touched it. Leave the squirrel alone. I tend to agree with Frank. I think uh, that uh, squirrel was mighty suspicious. Yeah, no, well, yeah. Here. Because Serp, Scissor up, I don't know, remember his name, and I don't really care. No, uh, gave you, gave you a, a bead that had a perp, that was purple that had a three legged squirrel on it, and then you met the three legged squirrel. Oh wait, what if it's a puzzle? Throw the bead at the squirrel. What? <laughs> Throw the bead at the squirrel. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, squirrel, squirrel. Um, don't warn him. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Don't look at me. I'm gonna throw the bead at him. Can we attack roll, please? Oh no, I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to hit him. Okay. <laughs> what what type of what type of attack roll? Just a twenty. Uh, standard throne, like a uh, strength or dex, whichever is higher. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's a nat twenty plus one. Nice. The squirrel is now unconscious. No! The, no! <laughs> the acorn begins pulsing. Uh oh. The imps promptly fly off. Whoa! Hey, I paid for you. Uh, how how deep is the hole? Fifteen feet. <clears throat> it, it, are the sides like rough? Can I like climb down to the acorn? There. Oddly, like they they are perfectly set in like a, a smooth edge. This is spectral in nature. This is not like somebody dug here. This is like it's just a hole. It's rear, very weird. I, I can't describe it super well. Who uh, has rope? Who has rope? Lower me down to this hole. I gotta grab that squirrel. To save that squirrel. I knew you would just wanted to save the squirrel. Just just let me save the squirrel. I don't want to piss off somebody on accident. Just let me grab the squirrel. Uh, Brad, which way did the imps fly? They are flying due east. Like, Slow me down really quick. I will pull rope out and lower it into the hole for Ezra to climb. Please down. don't go down there. I was just about to start blasting. No, you can blast after I grab the <laughs> squirrel. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to try and grab the squirrel and climb it down the rope. Alrighty, let's see a dex check to make it inside. You can use that. Uh, device. 12. Okay. 12. Uh, you make it inside. Uh, you don't fall on your ass. It's 15 feet. Nothing crazy. Uh, the acorn begins pulsing. Gonna, yeah, come out. Yeah, I'm going to grab the squirrel and I'm going to climb up as quickly as I can. And if it's hard climbing with the squirrel, I'm going to toss the squirrel up gently. Um, and if, is the squirrel at, like, would I know if the squirrel's at zero hit points? Because I can just, uh, I can uh, spare the dying on the stupid squirrel really quick. <laughs> Uh, the squirrel does not seem to be doing super hot. Uh, you are not sure as to whether or not the squirrel is at zero hit points. Uh, if you'd like to make a medicine check, you definitely can. I would love does to. Does the squirrel weigh, weigh less than five pounds? Yep. All right. I just float a hand down next to her. You want to uh, just place that there? 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spare the dying him real quick, but um, I rolled a seven plus four for an eleven, so that's not super high. It's not doing so hot. You think spare the dying is very important here? Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna climb up the rope as quickly as possible, and then I'm gonna turn to I'm sorry, it's Frank talking. I'm gonna turn to Frank. I'm gonna be like, uh, so do we do we blast it now? So you successfully yeah, yeah. kind of spare the dying. The moment you do so, the squirrel begins to convulse and begins turning a metallic gray and begins melting in your hands. It does not gain so any heat. It just becomes more and more liquid. What? Okay, I really hope I didn't piss off this red you guy. You just killed the squirrel! I, no, well, I saved she, the squirrel! She tried to save the squirrel. It it's not her fault it died. Don't, just drop it. Drop the Get out of the hole. Yeah, the hole. I, I'm gonna have to abandon the squirrel. <laughs> Uh, Ramos will whistle towards the imps. Hey, get back here. Uh, they're flying off in such a speed that you're not sure exactly what hand gesture they're making, but you're pretty sure it's offensive. <sighs> For Ezra, they creep up at you. The hole that you jo like came in through it's getting smaller. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of that hole. Alrighty, we'll help kill Pat with the rope to pull her out quicker. Yep. Help me get her out of there. Him, sorry. Get him out of there. Him. Yeah, him. Thanks. So, the rope is being pulled fast. Ezra, it's a 15-foot gap. Stuff's okay to make it out. Uh, you hear a low rumbling from the acorn. Uh, at that... Should I light it on fire? The water starts yes. to pour around the opening of this hole, which is growing smaller and smaller by the second. Good. Uh, you think you might have maybe one turn to get the hell out of Dodge. I don't know how many times I have to say I'm climbing this rope to get out of here. I am out of the hole now. You were <laughs> out, out, out of the hole. You were out of the hole. You were, yeah. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> can I can I sacred flame the acorn? Uh, you can definitely try. Okay. I'm going to fling an fling a Eldrix blast at it. And remind me, is that fire damage or radiant? Uh, Sacred Flame is radiant. Awesome. There's a reason I chose that one. That would be a 18 to hit. Okay, that will hit. With 7 damage. As you do 7 radiant damage, you'll note that this acorn begins to sprout vines just below the hole that is slowly... Or, not slowly, but quickly closing. I'd, but before so, you'll note that this acorn is rapidly growing. The portal's gone. I hit it with seven four damage. The Just water well. is trying to work. What type of damage? Force damage. Seven. Force damage will see a little bit of wood pop off from it. The water is now pouring towards you all. Never mind. We're running. I'm, I'm running away. Deck save, please, for anyone looking to not get swept away. Oh boy. Ooh, a deck saving throw. 18. 19 for Kelpat. Oh, this is going to be entertaining. Six. Six. <laughs> Whoa. Awesome. Hey, we're, we're bonded. <laughs> <laughs> we really are. <laughs> With the amount of bondage this party has, it's, it's tough, to, tough to see them leave each other. So, uh, bound to one another. Uh, Ramos and Frank, you are whisked away with a rapid flood. Uh, you are being brushed away by this pleasant stream. Didn't feel as fast as it is now. Uh, you're not sure why it's sped up or why it's grown more aggressive. The uh, area in front of you that you're being swept towards does not seem to be super eroded in a way that you would expect from a strong flow. Uh, you are being pushed by the water and swept into this area, but you do see a couple of, like, bushes and trees that you're being swept into. Can I see two deck saves from each of you to avoid these trees and rocks? I have a 15 and then a 17. Awesome. A 21 and an 8. Alrighty. So... Ramos, you'll make your way around a rock. You dodge a prickle bush. Uh, for Frank, you go clean through said prickle bush. Uh, you Ooh. take. Shit. 
five points of piercing damage. I just dropped a mini. There we go. Uh, and so you are poked by these various and sundry prickles. Uh, however, you are kept in place. You're actually able to make your way out of this stream. For Ramos, oh. you're the only one left in it. Can I see yeah. one more deck save from you? Sure can. I provide the help action by throwing him something. Awesome. Ah, uh, 13. 13? Mm -hmm. We'll see you successfully pulled to this makeshift shore. Uh, the water flowing from Pleasant Stream is now extending down towards a open, shrubby-looking area. Uh, you see towards your right is a expansive forest marked on the map as uh, Beast Lands. Uh, and a shrubby, kind of arid area to the left marked on your map as Clubhead. Uh, both of which are marked as not safe zones. Hmm. So just slightly blown off track. A uh, light bit, yeah. <clears throat> Would it be reasonable to try to make my way back? Definitely. Cool. I will do that. Bring, uh, Frank along with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, regroup with Ezra and Kel uh, Kelpat. Ezra, your squirrel has melted into a strange metal. This reminds you of melted gallium. It is seeping through your fingers. It releases a blood-curdling screech. Make a wisdom okay. save for me, please. Yep, absolutely. Natural 20. 26. Something just flicked you in the back of your brain. You're all set. Kelpat, can I see the same? Yep. Uh, you said wisdom? <laughs> oh, yeah. Seven. You hear a familiar voice in the back of your head says, Don't break my shit! Before fading away. You got anyone else hear that? No. I could have just sworn I heard shitteth. Shitteth? Yeah, the wizard that we talked to back in the room. Yeah, yeah, I know I know the guy. Grumbly, perpetually hung over despite not stopping drinking. Yes, I've, I'm familiar. Yeah, he but, said, don't break my shit. We only have the map. Do you think the squirrel was his? That's weird. Then why would, why would Serp have get? Listen, I don't know what's happening here, but uh, let's try not to break any more shit. I guess. Hey, what's going on? We got swept away in a river. Did I lose my bead throwing it at the squirrel in the acorn hole? You did. Fuck. All right. Well, I'm hearing voices. Apparently. Whose voice? That's Sound always like good. Shit is. Shit is. You sure? Yeah. Saying don't. No one else you know sounds just like him. I don't know anybody that would, but. Not that I can think of. It sounds like he was aggressive and swearing, so I'm pretty convinced it was shitteth. Alright. Well, I guess he's evil. We'll have to deal with that later. What makes you think he's evil? Just because he can speak into people's brains? I mean, like, I could do that if I tried hard enough, probably. What did what did we break? The acorn or the squirrel? The squirrel was working on the acorn. We know it was being written in Infernal. You That's don't evil. know the squirrel was working on it. It was. Come on. Listen, Perhaps he was trying to break it. That squirrel. Okay? The squirrel can do no wrong. If it was, if he was talking about the squirrel, he wouldn't have said my shit, right? He would have said my, my pet or my... Uh, do you see what this thing turned into? I don't think it was really alive. Ramos, can I see a dex save for me? Oh, oh, oh dear. Uh, 14. 14? Shit. 
Man, I hate floor dice. Floor dice are the worst dice. As opposed to ceiling dice, which are the most fun. How does that even happen? I'm intrigued. Well, you know, you just got dice and they're like really sticky and you're really aggressive and they just like... Yeah. Ceiling. Anyways. Dice. Big into it. Um, for Moe's, you hadn't noticed this. This went oddly under your radar. Calpat, you feel very taken aback by this as well. There is a fox amongst your group. It has not made its presence known. You did not see it walk up. It is now lunging at the map. Ramos, you successfully dart your map away. You're like, ah! Why are you taking... Come on! Give it to me! Give it to me! Says the fox. No. Um, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, what the fuck are you doing here? We're trying to, uh... Who are you? My name is Sylvette. Thank you. And who the hell are you? We're, uh... We're cartographers. Mapping out this place. Cartographers. Pains in my ass. Bunch of glorified tourists with pens and paper. Why don't you just take your shit, go back where you came from, and don't come back here? You're an animal. What if I told you that I don't use a pen on this paper? Would what that change if... anything? Actually, on a scale from one to change anything, that'd be a solid one. It would change nothing. Go back where you came from. Leave. Why? Thank you. Th thank you. How many legs does this fox have? Four. Okay. I only talk to three-legged animals, actually, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to leave. I only talk to human beings with more than three brain cells, so why don't you calm it down? Jokes on you! I'm not a human. Jokes on you! I don't give a shit. Jokes on me! We're talking to a fox. Jokes on me! <laughs> Get out of here! This is okay. the screams territory. I'll have <laughs> you know. Sorry, the who? The screams. Oh, uh, you're part of the forest that's over there? Yes, we're the druids that keep the place safe from assholes like you. You ever seen an area that's clear-cut before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's very messy. A lot of blood happens when you clear you like kill a bunch of animals that are nearby, eviscerate a local wildlife population. We're the druids that keep that shit from happening. Thank You're you very a druid. much. Actually, I'm we a druid. love nature. We just helped a really big tree grow, actually. So. No, we didn't. No. <laughs> Well, we didn't stop it. Shut up. Yeah, Sorry, you did it. what now? There was a giant acorn that... Uh, Shh. It was an evil tree and You fucked with the acorn. It. No, we the stopped. acorn was there and actually, we Actually, we with messed it, actually. with the squirrel that was messing with the acorn. Uh, yeah. You fucked with this squirrel? You No, no, no. No, I was trying to save the squirrel. Guys, you're getting me in trouble here. If that squirrel had three legs, your ass is grass. I swear to God, I will cut you down like... No Why... Why? What? What? What if it? What if it had five? What? What does the legs matter? So, story time! Oh my god! Um, fun fact. There's this guy named Fidith. <laughs> uh, total necromancer type. Loves to kill animals. Uh, has a familiar, and it's a three-legged squirrel. If you fucked with it, or you let it fuck. With the acorn, guess what? We're screwed. We're all screwed. That's it. What oh, if we boy. stopped it from messing with screwed? the acorn but killed the squirrel? On accident. That acorn was our attempt to make a guardian here. But it had infernal runes on it. Yeah, we made a deal with that asshole by the name of... Who is he? What's it? Um, Serp. Serp. Poof. Hi there, what's going on? Get the there hell he out of here! Wait, no, no, Serp. don't leave. Don't leave. That we wasn't your deal. squirrel, right, we, dude? Hold on, hold on. We made a deal, me and All you, right. Serp. Hey, yeah, what's going on? We made a deal. I gave you money for imps. Your imps were supposed to protect us. They flew away in the face of danger. You owe me money twofold. Let me have it. Poof. 
Well, I see we're all just screwed out of this deal, huh? You lost your demon, I lost my demon. Never make a deal with a crossroads demon. That's what I always say. Um, sorry, while we're splitting hairs here, you um brought a squirrel to the acorn that we were trying to turn into a giant tree and to guard this area, and you broke it? Uh, I, I'm, I don't think I... I broke the squirrel for sure. I tried to save the squirrel. It died. Well, it turned into, it turned into a puddle, which I think is probably not good for squirrels to be a puddle. Um, but as far as I know, the acorn is okay. You killed the familiar to a lich. Well, I tried to heal it. How was I supposed to know it was going to die? I tried to. I'm trying to figure out how to explain to you exactly how little of this I want to hear, because I don't want to hear any of this right now. What I want is you to get to the bottom. The bottom! The tippy bottom. Not the tippy, tippy top. Bo tippy bottom of all of this shit. I want you, all of you, to figure out where this treant is, how to stop it, if it's going to run amok here, who the fuck... You're the one that built it. Why should we have to fix anything? Because you're the ones that broke it, you asshats. How do you know we broke it? You haven't seen it. Because it was fun until you ch you chuckle fucks walked up here, decided to touch it, and bada bing, bada boom, we got no more acorn. How about that? Well, the acorn was still there when I left. Yeah, well, the acorn's gone now. There's no more portal. How long, were you, how long have you been here? How long have I? I've been here for a couple of minutes now. I was watching you chuckle fucks mess with it. I so why didn't you stop us? I was under the impression that you were rational people that would just go around. Oh my god. Listen, I so wanted to go we... around. They said throw a squirrel in. The squirrel went in. I, they said throw the marble. I threw the marble in. I don't know what happened. Marble? It's not my fault I have really good aim with you threw a marble small in round objects. Oh, it's a little, little, little kind of bead marble thing. Bead with the That's squirrel. The same... Yeah. Guys, I think I might have messed up every step of this. No, I think it was Serp did all this. I don't think. I you think know, he good point. I do remember him seeing there. Yeah. He put the bead on you. Bamf. So I. Sorry, what's going on here? Get the hell you out of here! You owe me twenty gold. Bamf. If all I knew is that it just took your name to bring you here, man, you would never be anywhere else. <laughs> hmm. I wonder, Serp. Oh. Bamf. Oh, it's you guys again, Bamf. <laughs> I love this game. It's like a, it's like a fucked up pager. Yeah. All right. Hey. I think if I recorded normal... my voice saying his name over and over again, he would just like have to like pop in uh -huh. and out. Oh, like on a beat of talking. What's those called? Yeah, yeah. Those like speaking stones. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that stone that you threw into the what now? You got a stone from somebody? That, you know that southern red guy that you keep yelling at? He gave me this, he stuck a purple thing, a purple bead to me, and then I gave it to the squirrel because the squirrel and the stone also had three you legs. You threw and, it at the squirrel! And then, and then fr Frank I here said him, that it I was going to be like a puzzle that we had to had to do, yeah. so I, I I hit the squirrel and then the squirrel was unconscious, so I tried to save the squirrel and then the squirrel died. All the pieces were there, it should have worked. But how do we Yeah, fix I added all that? the ingredients, but for some reason my souffle still sank. Yeah. Alright, so? So... <laughs> um, what's gonna happen and I don't want any sass from this is I'm gonna go talk to the druids we're gonna convene about you sons of bitches and then at the next game you all will meet me back at the edge of the dome with whatever group of adventurers can make actual rational decisions and then you're going to get to the bottom of this and figure out what's going on with that acorn, with that treant that is probably going to run amok in this land now. God knows we're going to be safe from that. Mm. Thank you, by the I way. I think you screwed that up to be Aren't you I druid? Think... You should be able to talk to treants. I yeah, mean, like if you make, were watching, make you a should've... deal with a demon. Why did you have someone guarding your guardian? Like, that seems kind of backwards to just leave something big and magic out there and just hope people don't fuck with it. That Listen. definitely seems very backward for a druid to deal with a demon. Yeah. It's not very nature -like. It seems like this was your judgment error to begin with. Like, you fucked with the bad thing and then just left it there. And why are was you that... trying to steal our map? And also, was that tippy bottom thing like I hint? Because, like, I'm not into foxes, but if you have a human form, then... I want your map. 
because I need Why? to know where you've been. Because I need to know if you've messed anything else up. Okay? All right. And... Why, you got other big acorns? Because I'd love to <laughs> throw a purple bean at any of them. Got it. I might have other colored beads if you give me a minute. I got two. <laughs> so. And I'm trying to figure out how to explain this in as kind of a way as possible. This whole place was fine for years till you touched it! It took years to grow that acorn? That's crazy. Yeah. Why might, might not make another one? Yeah, where'd it go? Just go find it. Pick it up. Why don't you have uh, Shittith uh, help you make a new one? If it was so important, why'd you just leave it there? Why'd you make a deal with a demon like a dumbass? Yeah, I'm sure, also sure that. Serp could come find it. He seems to be able to like portal into places. You might be At able least to make it. a deal with a genie. Yeah. You'll hear you know what I'm talking about, Frank? Yeah? Uh, and at the mention of genie, the Banff immediately bamps back like, Serp! Bam, send it here, Genie, and then immediately 180s back around. You know, at least he's on time to things. I'd like his imps. So, you're going to get to the bottom of this during your next game of Adventures in Aerony. It's going to be a posted hook on the job board. And you're going to figure out what the hell is going on here. You're going to figure out why this suddenly became my problem to deal with. And you're going to get back to me with the results. Understand? Yeah, sure. We're just going to go kill some goblins first. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, we we were on our way to do something else. So if you could just, like, figure all that out and, like, get back to us, that'd be great. Because this is technically your problem that you're pushing off onto somebody else. It just came upon your problem on accident. So it seems like you need to take the initiative here. Technically, we fixed your problem. Yeah, you're a druid. Just sky write us a note and tell us where to go later or whatever. Yeah, send your, like, four-legged animals after us, because apparently the three-legged ones are bad. The fox runs off. That could be an idiot. Bye, Sylvette. No swiping. Oh, yeah, you know, good, good, good point. Yeah, I didn't even... Oh, sly fox. I can't believe it was all a freaking joke. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm so upset right now. You know, out of character, I really should have caught on to that quicker. God. <laughs> uh, guilty. Um, that was great. That's one I never even saw coming. It's so good. Oh, I wish none of us had got it now. And Brad was just sitting there, knowing. <laughs> Some of those happen, but... I almost didn't say anything and just would have let it slide in. <laughs> At that, do you guys want to go kill some goblins? We've got yeah. probably another half hour left. Yeah, can we take a, a 30 seconds to go get some more water really quick? Yeah, yeah. I will stop the stream in three, two, one. Bada -bing, bada. Hello and welcome back to episode one of Adventures in Aeroni. We are approaching the end of our episode here. Uh, we have a light bit of a mission to go kill some goblins for a reason unknown. Uh, our party was venturing south beneath the uh, pleasant stream before making it a little bit less pleasant. Uh, our party is now adventuring towards the goblin area. Uh, we're not sure exactly where that is yet, so how would you guys like to approach that? Ramos, can you figure out where on the map we ended up and where on the map we need to be? Yes. And Ramos will look at the map, figure out where we are, where we need to go. Let's see a survival check from you. Sure. I'll assist him. Yeah, right there. Uh, it is a whopping 24. Dome, pleasant stream, goblins, dome. <laughs> Pleasant stream, goblins. Say it with me. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Dome. Stream. Pleasant stream, goblins. Yay! It, like it's it. I I I can't rip this off more without getting sued. Uh, um, 
Yeah, we are uh, we are venturing south. Uh, you've got a decent path towards where these goblins are. Uh, oddly enough, none of this was on the map yet. Your friend Shittith had a real good bead as to where they were going. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of the map, do you guys think we should leave that acorn thing on the map so we can come back to where it was, maybe? Yes. Oh, yeah. Because I don't think we should erase it even if it's not there anymore. It's still there. We should definitely keep it marked as to where it was, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right, just making sure. Good idea. We're off to see the goblins. The wonderful goblins of Erony already. Uh, you make your way a bit further south. Uh, you do find a couple of trails um, for Ramos, especially. You know there are some uh, out cigars put out on some trees. These appear to be hand rolled, nothing fancy, made with leaves. Uh, this is your average poor man cigar. For Kelpat, you feel watched. We're being watched, guys. Yeah, it reminds me. I pull out a cigar. I'm like, hey, Ramos, can I use your, uh, your lantern? <laughs> uh, your cigar? Shit. I need to stop dropping dice. Yeah, you don't normally do that. I, it's all the go-go juice. Um, uh, you will note that your cigar has a dart clean through it. Oh, piss. As you're about to inhale, you notice a light smell to that dart. Ruined the cigar. Throw it on the ground. Uh. Look for where the... All right, Joey, wh where are you? Where'd you go? You'll hear up. Come on out. A single goblin falls out of a tree, lands on its ass... Uh, this is a 30-foot drop. It is now moaning. Several bones are broken. All right. I, ain't, I am not dealing with this anymore. I'll, we'll, we'll talk about why I'm talking different in a minute, but uh, I'm, I'm going to put Dagger. it out of his misery, okay? Yeah. Dagger. 24 to hit. Yep. Yeah, squish it. Uh, that is, I think it's, is it invocation that I get the extra? Yep. Uh, so eight yeah. force damage. You've now naturally selected a goblin. <laughs> it's dead. You hear off in the distance. I think we might have found him. I wonder if they're just, I wonder if they're all just going to fall out of trees. That would make this awfully convenient. Let's see it. You guys wait a couple of moments. They don't fall out of trees. Damn it. Damn. Bummer. You know how exhausting it is to sound like someone from Russia? Why do you do that? <laughs> uh, it, it adds more to the getup, you know? Uh, Look, yeah, I was going to I was gonna make an accent for this. No. No, no. All right. Listen, because uh, this is just easier, all right? It is. I was shocked when I met a, a a prime genie and they sounded like me. So, you know. Yeah, our boss is weird, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Super. Above the table, I'm still working on that Robin Williams impression. We'll get to it later. Uh, <laughs> <at that>. Yes. <laughs> uh, you guys will see there is a break <clears throat> in the woods, which I am going to stream to this Thing in just a moment once I get my act together. Uh... Hey, you know, did you do your extra damage? Does this man get extra damage? I don't really think that's necessary. I mean, it's very, very dead. What extra damage? Well, it, you're, from your, from your uh, lantern, you have Genie's Wrath. Once on each of your turns, when you hit with an attack roll, you can deal extra damage to the target equal to your proficiency bonus. And yours would be fire. Oh, I forgot. You know, it's been where? Where do I find GV stats? This is dope. You know, coming out of the, <laughs> it's coming out of that toxins. tube to oh. dealing with Bork, I got a little, I got, I got a little dumber talking to him. Not gonna lie. 
You know, we, we all forget I, stuff sometimes. You know, and it's just uh, man, and then dealing with Ruggedy or whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, the rug you know? rat boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah and then a... dealing with, and then dealing with a Karen Fox. Like we're uh, looking uh, for goblins as we're talking. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I feel like that fox is more of a Linda, you know? Like, drinks way too much coffee with, like, white stuff in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a hipster or whatever. Like cocaine? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Man, those druids are weird. Yeah, druids are weird. Why are they so mean? I feel like even the bad guys we found aren't even that mean. Yeah, right? Like, so yeah, I mean, like an alright guy compared to that stupid fox that wanted me to bottom him, the top him. What? Yeah, Soap was kind of... <laughs> Soap was really, a, really a, you know, a, a well-off guy. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Uh... <laughs> you did. Okay. I can't breathe. <laughs> it's not my thing, you know. <laughs> you know, in most societies, you know, it's frowned upon to top bottom a fox well i don't i think even it was if they are you know a fox yeah it was a person yeah, you know, dressed as a fox right uh, that's a whole uh-huh. different that's different only thing. acceptable if you like go into the forest and everyone's dressed as a fox you know yeah, is it though yeah. oh we're still figuring out asset ratios i mean like i've, <laughs> I've heard it is is that is that not how that works i've never been i i i, I don't do that that's not i think as long as you're both the same form then it doesn't matter all right. For the folks at home watching this, I am actively figuring out how to uh, make this appear. Okay, it's episode one. We're figuring it out. Uh, I will lock in our aspect ratios. Bada bing, bada boom. And we've got a clear view of who's talking. We've also got a clear view of the uh, game board, which is great. Um, I don't. <laughs> that is a very fair point. Oh, you use Nobius? Like I no am. free ads or nothing. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no ads. No, we don't. We don't do that stuff here. We're just, uh, we're just trying our best. Um, so, a recap of who we have got. Uh, we have got Ezra, Frank, yep, Kelpat, and Ramos. For our friends here. This is the scene before you. You see a bunch of goblins pouring out of a small encampment. And about uh, yeah, well, how far away are they? Uh, they are... 250 feet. Yeah, about there. How about 250? You guys want to go in guns blazing, or are we going to try and take this uh, tactfully? I mean, they are, they already sounded the horns, so they yeah, already know we're horns. here. And that yeah, one I definitely made some go. gruesome noises, but that's because of his own stupidity. Yeah, he's stupid. Let's do it! <laughs> I start running. Stop. I'll follow. <laughs> Got a message I gotta check. I had another player that was possibly gonna be popping into this stream that was like, nah, I can't make it. That's okay. Uh, So we've got. Is the whole party just advancing? Yep. Yep. I can give you guys uh, three turns of movement. I'm assuming everybody here is at 30 feet. Is that fair? Yep. At uh, 25 yes. for me, but yeah. Uh, once I get on within 120 feet, I'd like to just start blasting. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're going. Same. We're going Danny DeVito here. Uh, we are. We are doing the whole meme. It's just happening. Uh, 100. percent can I see a roll for initiative before we just start blasting? Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask for values in just a moment. Uh, 
Alrighty, can I get 25 to 20? Oof. Twenty to fifteen? Sixteen. Seventeen. Oh. Fifteen to ten? Eleven. And ten to five? Oh, you mean multi-class in the paladin, but <laughs> Remotes? Four? Oh. <laughs> so we know who's not going first. Okay. Uh, we are looking at a slew of ranged goblins emerging. They are getting their stuff ready. They don't feel super confident right yet. You can hear off in the distance. Uh, some of them are barking orders to one another. There's a. One of them hits another one. The other one grabs a sword from one of them. The other one grabs a ranged weapon. Uh, they are just fighting back and forth over who gets to use what in this fight. Uh, they just seem excited to be able to use weapons. Uh, that will see our turn go over to Kelpat. Pat, we All right, I'm gonna. I am gonna fire an arrow into that one that's in the very front to the left. Uh, you are aiming for the front left. Uh, give me a roll to hit. I'll be just a moment. All right. Eek. Thirteen. Thirteen. We'll see a hit. All right. That's going to be eight damage. All right. You have successfully downed that goblin. Anything else on your turn? Uh, uh, let me see. I believe I can use a bonus action to dash with cunning action. Yeah, I'm going to dash up behind the tree to our left there. If I can make it up there. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, turn will then pro uh, yeah, progress over to Frank. I'd like to move 25 feet diagonally to the top right. Uh, That's good. There, there. yeah, yeah. Okay, and I will hex that guy over there. This Can one? I reach him? How far away is he? Ooh, excuse me. He is... Uh, 13 times 5. We are looking at 65. Yeah, yeah. I'll hex him as a bonus and then huck a blast at him. All right. Let's see it. That's a 12 to hit? That'll hit. All right. Six plus three, nine force damage, and then six necrotic damage with two fire damage. Yeah, we call that a dead goblin where I come from. That's my turn. Cool, cool. That will see our turn go over to Ezra. Alrighty, I would like to take out my shield that I have on me and like fully equip that so that my armor class goes up and then I am going to um I'm going to move up uh, kind of like 10 feet 5 to 10 feet in front of the person who moved to the right Okay. <laughs> and if there's anybody within 60 feet of me I would like to toll the dead um, we don't have anybody in 60 feet can I get any closer? Do I have any more movement left? You can dash to get more movement. Uh, you're about out of movement here. Okay, I'll, I'll dash to get close enough. Okay, 
Okay, uh, that we'll see. Barely close enough to get that one. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah, uh, so that is, uh, that's a wisdom save of 14. Goblins are not wise. What do you got? Wonderful. That would be three points of damage. Okay. This goblin's actually still kicking. Not too happily, I might add. All right, that ends my turn. All righty. That will see our turn progress over to... Ramos. Ramos, what are you up to? Uh... <clears throat> I am going to move up 30 feet. Okay. And then I am going to start blasting at uh, some ranged goblins. Okay. Let's see it. So my range for the spell is uh, 120 feet, so... Presumably a good number of these goblins I could hit from here. Yeah. Uh, 22 to hit. I'm assuming you're going for our pre-damaged one? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, and then, so that'll be three force, and then additionally, uh, it'll take two fire damage. Alrighty. That is enough to axe that one. Anything else on your turn? Uh, nope, that's it. Cool, cool. That will see our turn go over to the melee gavos, who are not thrilled to see this go down in their own home turf. They are advancing forward. It's going down for real. That's not a goblin, that's a teepee. Uh, that's a ranged goblin, so was that one. I'm just dumb. Alrighty, that will see our turn progress over to the range cabos. Uh, we have got a very short number of those left. We're gonna get one attack off on Ezra. Uh, we're looking at a 13 to hit. Does not hit. Uh, we've got another one shooting over towards Ezra with a nat one. Another one trying to shoot over towards Ezra. You're the closest. Uh, they've got a seven to hit. Nope. And trying to check for any other ranged. You guys have just about eviscerated their ranged. Uh, I think we got one more left. Okay. Wow. Alrighty, that will see our turn go over to uh, Kelpat, who we've got in our red over on our left end. What do you got? All right, I'm going to shoot this melee goblin that's closest to me. Alrighty. Get him. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be a nat 20. Yup. So that would be a 25 to hit. So it's going to be... Oh, weak damage, though. Three, four... Ten damage. All right. Where I come from, we call that a dead gobble. Yeah. And I am going to call that my turn. Cool, cool. That will see our turn go over to... Frank. Um, bonus action to move my hex to this guy that's closest to me. Yeah, that'll be our main. Actually, guy. no, no, no. I'll move it to the guy to the back left of the guy I killed. Yeah, yeah, because she's gonna probably get, or he's gonna fight that guy in front of us. Okay. So yeah, I'll move it to him and then huck a Eldritch Blast at him. Let's see it. That's a, this is a eighteen to hit. That'll hit. All right. Do you need separate damage at all? Or? Um, no, they don't have any notable resistances. Gotcha. Okay, so that's... This is a horde of goblins. Twelve! With... Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah, if I, if I threw a horde of goblins with damage resistances at a level one party, I think I'd lose my DM card. <laughs> uh, 
Like Matt Mercer would personally show up with like Gary Gygax to beat the crap out of me. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Ghost of Gary Gygax and Matt Mercer. <laughs> Gary Gygax is forced ghost to like light a tree on fire and Matt Mercer would like tell me that it's okay to have fun but not the way I'm doing it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like real passive aggressive shit. Like you're doing great. Just don't do that. Yeah, just just fix everything you're doing, uh, which is a lot of stuff that needs to it'd be like a whole thing. Uh <laughs> I joke. They're they're you know positive folks. Uh, we're looking. Yeah, at he's probably a great guy. He's very nice. Ezra, unless you got anything else on your turn, Frank. No, no, no. I'm good. Cool, cool. Ezra. Uh. So at the beginning of my turn, I'll take uh, ten feet of movement up, please. Sounds good. And right? then, the person that's the closest to me that's still up, I'm gonna hit with another Toll the Dead because it does a D12 instead of a D8 on damage if they're already damaged. Mm -hmm. Which is a, another Wisdom save. Um, that's a six. Cool. So that is another seven damage. Yep. And just like that, we've naturally selected another goblin. And then I think I will take the rest of my movement forward, please. All right, all right, all right. And that's my turn. Cool, cool. That was your turn. Go over to Ramos. Uh, I will start. Uh, any more ranged gobos left? Uh, you've got one, two. Three, four left. I've got a couple. Uh, I will shoot at one of the ones farther back, providing they're within range. If not, I'll move up. Uh, that would be probably this one towards our back left. Cool. I will shoot at that one. The Eldritch Blast. Alrighty. Uh, Alright. Apparently, I'm staying consistent. 25, uh, 22 to hit. Sorry. 22 to hit. We'll see a. Mm -hmm. Hit goblin. For six force and two fire. Yep. We call those dead where I come from. Uh, and for what it's worth, since uh, um, Ezra hasn't seen Ramos in combat, he's using his ornate lantern as his spell focus. Dope. Dope. So Love it's to see just it. firing out of. Um, the lantern. He's not, you know, finger blasting it. Got it. Finger gunning it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yep. <laughs> Same for me, but it's a cork. Same for me, but it's a cork bottle. And I kind of look over to Ramos, and I'm like, <laughs> and I act like I'm drinking out of it, but nothing's coming out. <laughs> One of the melee gobos is going to make their way over to Ezra. Still our yeah. closest prey. This one's not going to quite make it. This one. It's actually going to shoot from afar. Uh, Ezra, we are looking at a 13 to hit. Nope. A 19 to hit. That one hits. And a 14 to hit. Nope. 19, we'll see six piercing damage from our melee friend up front. Ooh, okay. It is reaching towards you with a <laughs> stab. I am suddenly not looking very hot at all, guys. I could imagine. Uh, we've got another range gobble coming up. Uh, they're going to make an attack towards Ezra as well. Uh, keeping an eye towards Ramos. Uh, we've got a five. Whopping five. Uh, <laughs> no. We'll see our turn go over to Kelpat. All right. I'm going to take out, or at least try to take out this other goblin that's let me see. I wouldn't be able to hit over there. So, yep, that one there. Uh, and I got a nat one. That will see a successful miss. Uh, anything and else in your turn? That is my turn. Okay. That right, will see our turn go over to Frank. You use cunning actions, right, Dave? You can. No, no uh, that's level two, actually. No, he's level three. Yeah, I thought he was level. Yeah, I am level two. Level though. two or three. Yeah, um, you've got. You can hide as a bonus action. Yeah, I don't really need to hide. So yeah, I, I would, but 
we don't the only one yeah yeah i'm actually gonna well i can't they know where i am so would it really count? right yeah. yeah that's the problem <laughs> yeah so yeah that's my turn okay um uh we'll see the turn go over to frank Oh, yeah, yeah. I will, uh, I'm actually gonna dash, so 50 feet straight forward. All right, all right, all right. And then bonus action to move my hex to that guy right in front of me. Yes, indeedy. And that's my turn. Uh, turn will then go over to Ezra. Okie dokie. Uh, so you you got you got the guy directly to my diagonal right. You can attack him still. I just needed to move my hex. Got to yeah, move yeah. it every time someone dies. So got it. Um, I'm gonna hit that ranged guy because I'm pissed at him for reasons. Uh, with another toll the dead. Wisdom save. Ah. I keep forgetting this. I should know that. Thirteen. <laughs> Uh, 13 still a failure, so <laughs> that's another 7 damage. <laughs> Rolling consistently. I, this die is just sitting 13s and 5s for some reason today. It just wants, it wants math to be consistent. Uh, and since I'm within melee range of those two guys with my movement, I'm going to scoot, I'm going to scoot 15 back. You will see an opportunity attack from this one. Yeah. yeah. Which will miss. Um, that will be. Yeah, that'll be it. Got anything else? That is my turn. Cool, cool. Ramos, you're up. Uh, I will move 30 feet. And I will keep working on the ones in the back. Uh, this looks like your next target. Yep, so I'm actually going to bonus action hex it. Okay. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast it. <clears throat> yep. That's a crit. Yep. Natural 20. That's really going to hurt. I hear those dice. I'm just getting the dice. Like, They're metal, too. Ooh, that's some good stuff. Uh, so, six force, eight necrotic, and then two fire. He's gone. There's no There's no more. It's just a gone combo. <laughs> Incinerated. Yeah. They're convinced you just cast uh, the disintegrate spell. Uh, this one is going to head for the hills. Anything else? Anything? And that's my turn. Nope. Cool. Uh, that will see the melee gobos who are now rolling to figure out if they want to stay. Uh, this one's going to going to advance. These two are not. No. Don't. And this one is not. Uh, that will see the turn go over to Kelpat. All right, I am going to try and shoot this one that is going to Ramos. All righty, let's see it. I got another nat one. <laughs> that uh, and I'm going to dash out towards that one, though. I get you pretty close. And that is my turn. Cool, cool. Turn will then go over to Frank. Frank, you Stupid got Stupid running away, else. bastards. I was going to show you how to keep in the bottle. Oh, well. I'll just let another Eldritch Blast come out of it. That's a freaking seven. <laughs> Seven, we'll see a miss. 
They're running too fast. I can't get an eye on them. Maybe if you weren't aiming with a bottle, you'd be able to hit them. I, I don't... Uh, I don't seem to be having any issue. Uh, anything else, Frank? No. That'll see Ezra. Uh, are any within 60 of me? Great question. That one is just barely. You're looking at like... All right. Yeah. Seven on a save. Great. Let's roll for another thing of damage. Mm -hmm. Only four this time. Alrighty. It's just it's just kind of wanting to die. All right. That's it. That's all I got. Cool. Cool. Now we'll see our turn. Go over to Ramos. Uh, I'll move another thirty feet closer. Okay. Uh, how far away is, is the uh, one that's running away on the left? Uh, that one can't be more than like oh, 35, 40 feet. Bullshit. No, the other one, Brad. No, the other one. The one headed off to the left of the TVs. The one scattering. 110. 110? Yep. Beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to shoot it with an Eldritch Blast. I can't hex it, but... Yeah. An Eldritch mm. Blast. Uh, an 11 to hit? That will hit. Okay. Cool. I will take it. Uh, 10 force and 2 fire. You got him. You just... Um, I will bonus action hex the next one to the left. Okay. That will see the turn go over to the running away goblins. And the turn will go over to Kelpat. All right. I level my bow at this guy in front of me, and I'm hoping for not another nat one. He is giving you a look that suggests he is now too deep into the situation and not prepared to back it up. All right. I got a 12 this time. That'll hit. All right. <laughs> and that is going to be seven damage. Just enough. You have got a goblin dead right in front of you. Nice. That's some point blank shit right there. Yep. That ain't Falco. Anything else? In your and turn? let's see. They're all kind of out of the way. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna dash up near the fire and see if I can manage to get some more of them while they're trying to escape here. I doubt it, but oh, excuse me. Uh... And that's my turn. Alrighty. Turn will then go over to. Frank? Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, run up 25 feet. And I'll uh, uncork the bottle and make this dude make a wisdom save. The farthest back one. That's a 10. For, for All right, he's one. held. He's held. Not that one. The one closest to me. Oh, yep. Yep, that one there. All right, that's my turn. All righty. Uh, turn will then go over to Ezra. All right. Uh, full movement forward towards the back TV, because uh, I think the last two of them are still alive, right? The one that's held and the one next to him? Yep. Uh, and then it looks like I'm probably going to have to dash, so I'll just do that now. Dash the extra movement forward. And then, I don't think he's taking damage, so I'm not going to toll the dead. I'm going to Sacred Flame instead. Not that it makes a difference, but that's a dex save of 14. Is that a bonus action? Uh, no. Okay, never mind. If I don't have an action, then I'm good. That's all I got. 
That'll see Ramos. Um, I will move 30 feet forward again and not into the fire. Wait, there? Perfect. All right. Uh, sure. And I will Eldritch Blast the one I hexed. Uh, for a 15 to hit. That'll hit. For seven force, two necrotic, two fire. Yep, we, yep that's that's a dead man. That's a, that one's not alive. And I will bonus action hex the one that is not held. Okay. And that's my turn. Uh, that will see this one looking around very scared. It's going to try and dash away. Uh, that will see the turn go over to... Actually, we're going to have this one try and resist hold. It's got a 12 to resist that hold for Frank. Is that enough to break out? It's a fail. No, no. All right. 13 my DC. So, Pat, you are up. How far away is the farthest one? Farthest one, you are looking at 110 feet. feet. Oh, oh, wow. I can still hit him without, and it wouldn't be disadvantage with long range with me. So, uh, However, I don't think a nine hits. It is not. You are right. off in the distance. All right, now I'm going to dash up a little bit more okay. and call it a turn. Dash will get you there with movement. Uh, that will see Frank up next. You've got a held gobbo. What are you doing with it? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk up behind uh, uh, sort of just hang out there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I don't know what you want us to do with this one. Uh, yeah, I can keep him here like this for for a minute. Ezra? Ah, well, I can reach him. You want me to just take care of him? Use my if bonus action to ask him. I All right. I don't speak goblin, so I think. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Uh, told the dead for wisdom save. Sixteen. Never mind, I can't hit him. Dang. Um, I think everybody else got the far away guy. I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna sit here. I'm kind of tired. All right. Yeah. Move thirty, uh, thirty feet closer to the one in the back, and presume I'm within range. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm either rolling super high or super low. Uh, so, 11 to hit. That'll barely hit. Uh, 9 force, 4 necrotic, 2 fire. <laughs> Preemptive flip over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Anything else? Just in case, I'll bonus action move my hex over to the one that's held. Alrighty. Uh, he's just stuck. Uh, what do you guys want to do with this one? Yeah, I got 45 seconds, guys. Should we keep him? We could. Ooh. Why would we want to keep a goblin? I don't I know. Over. We, could, we could bring him back as proof. I all over. We should interrogate him. Do you speak goblin? Someone here can speak all languages. Which one he was that? If he can write... If we can make him write in the dirt, then I can understand what he says. But he might not be able to understand us. Uh, oh, so you, you can comprehend. Got I it. can read all yeah. languages. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's not very useful. Oh, it's very useful. Trust me. <laughs> not right now. It's not. <laughs> yeah, not not at the moment. I'm gonna sure. switch display modes, so we're not doing the table anymore. Doesn't seem like it's going to be super important. All right, who votes to kill him? Who votes to keep him? Well, if you want to interrogate him, you might as well restrain him. You know. Are we 
bring him back. No more. Yeah. yeah, let's bring him back. Maybe somebody else can interrogate him later. Let's tie him up. Yeah, I'll pull out my rope and tie him up and throw him over my shoulder. I'm going to make sure he doesn't have anything pointy on him before you do that. You take off four daggers. You might want to cut his ears off. They look kind of pointy. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot of pointy stuff. Hey, you know, I take offense to that. It I, was a joke. I'm going to I'm going to keep the daggers. Maybe I can sell them. Were they bone? They were. Yes. <laughs> uh, Nothing else. We can feed them to that fox. Ooh, you good know point. what? Let me uh, take a quick look around here, all right? Yeah, yeah, I'll help you out. Uh, I'm going to bless the both of you before you do that. Ooh. Uh, that is a 15 uh, investigation. Did you roll with advantage? Or? I did. It's a, did. Okay, yeah. Is it an advantage or is it a plus a d4? It's, uh, well, I was helping him, so. Yeah. Both. Oh, okay. I okay, had help. Got it, got it. And I rolled a d4. For checking around, you find there's really not much here. Like, you, you're expecting a lot more. There's goblins, equipment, food, a couple of board games. They've got some dice. You think they're probably just stationed here. Uh, you do find one scroll of interest written in Goblin. Oh, let's see. I take the scroll and go, uh, you can read all the writing, right? Yep. So there you go. Stay here till I get you or I'll kick your ass. Oh, the orders from somebody to tell them to stay put or they're going to kill them. Well, it looks well, like we beat him to it, I guess. I mean, yeah. indeed it does. Technically, they stayed put. And I will Most take this with him. Uh, maybe we'll figure out who it was written by. Hey, did you guys find any cookies while you were searching through shit? I was looking for buttons. I didn't find a single one. As you make your way around, you'll see that uh, you're trying to find cookies. Uh, the only cookies you find is uh, one cookie in the mouth of Serp who you weren't expecting to see here. He wasn't expecting to see you here. He disappears. I think I might have known who was telling them to stay put. You owe me 20 gold! <laughs> Sir, get back here. He's gone. Oh, the name thing only works when he wants it to. Damn! I'll, I'll get the money from him one day. You're not getting that money back. Oh, you know, I want... Wait. You know, I wonder if we just insult Asmodeus, then he might just pop up. I think that's probably a bad idea when I only have one bit of health left. Give me a I can't believe you just said that name out loud. Ramos? <laughs> Ramos? Wisdom save? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, 24. Nope, sorry, 23. 23. All right. I rolled really high. Ooh, that actually made my heart jump into my throat for a second there. Right? I rolled a 17. Yeah. Well, like, damn, I was going to bring back a cookie for uh, for Stan, but since there are none. You ever ate the goblin cookie? Personally, no, but Stan loves them, and he's kind of a great guy. Oh, okay. Like, even I'd Ramos, some like... Dirt. Form it in the shape of a cookie and hand it to <laughs> Asma. <laughs> Even like Ramos, after he says Asmodeus, kind of like looks around really quickly. <laughs> Ramos, you feel a magical effect take over you? Hmm. Above the table, you know you rolled a 22. Yeah. Ooh, dee la dee do. Does I it feel like it washed over me, or does it say feel like it hit and stuck? It feels like, um, you ever put lotion on, you got that just feeling on your hands for a little bit? Mm-hmm. Um, you got feeling on your hands, just kind of around. Mm. Yeah. It's like magic lotion. Mm. Tasty. I'm writing down magic lotion for no reason in my notes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You, you never know what'll come up as a magic item. Magic lotion, it, it doesn't chafe. It's just great. It's, just, it's 
so good, super good. Um, so let me get this straight. The A name, you know, Serp Sugar Daddy, that's going to be like <laughs> our um, our he who shall not be named from now on. Because I, I, get, I get some bad juju from that. Oh, you should. He's like the top guy of top guys of top guys of top guys of the abyss. As opposed to nope, the hell. Sorry. As opposed to the the bottom fox that we met. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like like Ramo says abyss and immediately changes to he- uh, to the hells and so and like mouths sorry Mr. A. <laughs> You'll see that Ramo's eyes flash yellow for a moment. Well, I'm going to make a conscious effort to be 30 feet away from Ramos for the entire way back to the dome. Alrighty. As you make your way back to the dome, Ramos, you feel just a light bit of pressure against it, and then you pass through. Ah. Weird. Ah. Yep. Nope. Not going to say his name anymore. Whose name? He who I shall see what you did there. <laughs> Where are you guys going to now? I'm, I'm just fast traveling you back to the dome. I I, I don't you like fast traveling that... two locations, but back it's like. Ah. Well, we have a goblin that probably couldn't get through. True that. Yeah, we should pro- we should probably see if we can take him to Shittith. Where do you think he's at at this point? Should we go back to that place where he locked us in that magic room with the weird door? He's in the dome. He might even be at Box. The goblin can't get in the dome. Right. Yeah, y'all. What, one of y'all go grab him. Yeah, somebody go I'll look for here. him. Uh, y'all, I can go look for him. Okay. I don't know him very well, but I'll go All with right. Frank. Can you? I'll stay with. Goblin? Yeah, I'll stay with Ramos and the Goblin then. Shitty oh, wizard I... man! I just start shouting as I'm walking through town. <laughs> Super rug you see is uh, busy stopping a robber that uh, looks oddly caricaturized. Uh, a guard tries to step in and also tackle the robber and then passes through the robber. It's kind of an art, the way he can interact with his own illusions. It's like a whole performance art thing. It's, like, it's great. Uh, you're asking around. You are directed over towards the tavern. Uh, Shittith is predictably mixing vodka and healing potion inside of there. Hey, shitty boy. Ah, oh, what's up? What do you want? Come on, let's go. All right, we what are we brought doing? you a present. Uh-huh. We, brought you a pre- we brought you a present. What is it? A goblin. Kill it. I don't, I don't want it. Oh, you don't want to interrogate it? Fuck no! Why do I want to interrogate a goblin? What, what conversation do you think they're capable of? Like you get, you gotta, you get, a, you get a grunt. You get you're nothing. There's nothing out there. Fuck it. Yeah, but we found a note with him, and then who's it Serp from? Appeared. We Sir. think it might have been from Serp. Not that shit. He doesn't like goblins. Well, he showed up after we read it, and it says, wait here for me or I'll kill you. Did you say his name? Yeah, and then... No, no, we didn't say his name when he showed up then. He showed up on his own. He was coming there regardless. Did you do anything to make him track you? Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Suppose you guys want gold for that uh, weird little fetch quest I sent you on, huh? We want you to come talk to the goblin. I don't want to talk to a go- What the fuck do you want me to... Oh, sh- uh, all right, I'm coming. I'm coming. No, I'm coming. Thanks. He'll bring his vodka and healing potion, chug, and follow you. Because it's just like, you know, as we're walking, it's just like if we brought the goblin back for no reason, then I have to tell Ezra and Ramos, like, oh, sorry, you had to wait here with I'll, the goblin. I'll literally kill it myself. I, like- yeah, you can just make up an excuse, say you need to interrogate it in the woods or something, and we'll just walk away. I love it. Great idea. Great idea. Um, Thanks. Hey, guys. Ezra. Uh, Ramos. And uh, Chucklefuck over here. Uh, shit. Uh, I gotta go talk to this goblin in the woods. At which point you'll hear a bang. Uh, he has cast magic missile. Goblin's dead. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot to go to the woods. Oh, that's... I'm sorry, guys. That's terrible. This is just <laughs> a <laughs> real mess. Well, well man, if you, if you just, just wanted, laughing. if you just wanted that to happen, I could have done that for you. Ah, yeah. this is this is rough. I, 
Man, this has got to be the worst way to spark a war with go- to get goblins taken care of. Uh, who wants gold? You use the first level spell on a tied up goblin. Yeah, who wants oh. gold? Who wants gold? You guys want gold? I got gold. Yeah, I, yeah. Are I you mean, who yeah, we I talk about, about the map thing too? We did the map thing. Here's your stupid map. We're awesome. going to need that back though in a minute. I'll, I'll totally give it back at a later later mission. <clears throat> Wait. By the way, uh, we ran into some issues. Uh, one. All of them actually. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of issues. Uh, do you ever heard of a guy named Fiddith? <laughs> I he stares at you? So. Uh, no. Like, he, apparently he has a familia of a three-legged squirrel. Never heard of him? Stay away from him. Well, we accidentally killed a squirrel. It was less of an accident. You know, we I just kind of solve a puzzle. Right? It was all Ezra's fault. Yeah, it was my fault. But the thing, I thought you Actually, might know him because your idea. names are so familiar, and you know how sometimes you like know people. That, anyways, um, I there was a squirrel. There was an acorn. The squirrel liked the acorn. The squirrel touched the acorn. I threw a marble at the squirrel or a bead or something. The squirrel died. I tried to save the squirrel. The squirrel really died. Yeah. Uh, and now there's a big acorn thing that might be somewhere it's that's missing. bad. And then this sassy fox, fox decided to yell mad. at us. Yeah, the this fox told us we gotta fix it. Us hard. <laughs> Let, so that listen, was really listen, a Karen. Let's let's be honest here. Put put it in the after action report. I don't want to hear any of this. I'll I'll read it when it's on paper. I'm just gonna pay you each 150 gold and call it good. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah. That's all right. Probably all right. Best. All right. Uh, shit. Fuck. I am not day drunk enough for this. All right. Give me the fucking. Give the map. Give me the map. All right. Fucking, yeah, I don't know. A, a big. Why'd you draw an acorn? Why did? Nope, 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 nope. That's nope. where the Never acorn is. You better keep that there. We need that. Yep. Don't get rid of the fucking acorn. We our... need that acorn to stay right. there. Because apparently it's our problem that it's not our problem. To go yeah, somebody else's Ugh. problem. Somebody else's problem. But we'll take care of it, probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you erase that goddamn acorn. You'll eat Sylvette and receive... the bottom foxes. I'm telling you, I need that acorn. <laughs> You'll each receive 150 gold? Uh, Shittith will promptly give you a Vidalcan salute with a clean middle finger. Uh, he will beckon you off and uh, promptly make his way back towards the tavern. That will see the end of today's game. Uh, that will be the end of episode one of Adventures in Aeroni. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, for the folks at home, if you liked it, feel free to comment about what you liked. And for the folks that don't, uh, comment twice. Uh, we still want the engagement. Uh, be well, be safe, <laughs> have a great day. Yeah, if you...